Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to a new episode here. This is a special one. We just hit 2,000 days in this world. Can you believe it? 2,000 days. Just got finished making this little long play here where we made this little spiral staircase. Not too shabby. Uh, we did a lot of it on the stream, by the way. That is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We stream every single day there if you want to catch us out. And about, we do be there every day. But there's a couple things that I wanted to do. Um, now that uh, we're at 2,000 days, I figured let's celebrate by getting another beacon. We're going to fight the wither right now. Before we do that, I need to grab some chicken eggs. And why Why are you guys here? Why are you guys, Why are all these villagers inside? What's going on? Can I let you out without letting the chickens out? You guys want out? Come on. Nope. All I'm going to do is be letting the chickens out. Okay, quick audible. Let's uh, let's take out everything, like these trap doors that are allowing these people to get in the chicken coop. This is, okay, this is bad. We'll just replace these with some jungle buttons instead of trap doors. I didn't realize how much of a ruckus this was. Dude, all of the villagers are in here. If I open this, we'll... No, chicken, no! And actually, wait, we do have a quick side project. All of these villagers out here, why? Why are they out here? I have no idea. We have one, we have two, we have three, and then we have four or five over here. They're just, they're, I don't know what they're conspiring, but we gotta get these guys out. I have some boats, but uh, yeah, there's there's always side projects in this world, man. This world is looking great. I am just, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this world is turning out. This past 2,000 days has been absolutely nuts, but I mean, come on, man. These villagers are really getting in the way of me trying to fight the wither. Let's, uh, let's get you... Over here in a boat, sir, you want to hop in this one right here? How about I just scoot you on over there? Let's uh, let's take you back home, man. What are you, what's going on here? Come on, buddy, get in the boat here. Wait, if I get out of the boat and push you over to the boat, will you get in? There you go. And this guy's a master armorer or like a weaponsmith. He's like, what? Are, why are they running out into the ocean? Why do I have to keep taking you guys back to the beach? Finally got all those villagers taken care of. They are back in their home and we are back over here about ready to go. We have a bunch of chickens down here. They've been set in stone. We got a bing, a bang, and a bop. All right, let's go. We got the wither coming right now. I'm ready. I'm game. I'm ready right now. Got the bow locked and loaded. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, you want to fight? Let's fight. I'll keep shooting you. I'll shoot you right here right now, sir. Oh God, it shot right back at me. Boom, boom, boom. Sir, please be gone. Thank you very much. Well, that was fun. We got ourselves a nice little nether star right here. And actually, wait, do we have... Yeah, we do. We got ourselves some wither roses. Let's go, dude. That was nice. That was very successful. Let's uh, let's go use it. Now, where to put this shiny old beacon? Maybe not next to the first one that we have, but let's put it like past the panda sanctuary, over the trading halls, past the wool farm. We can maybe even just go right on the edge of town. Maybe just like right here on the beach. We, we haven't built anything on this beach yet. So you know what? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And counting is going to get a bing, a boom, a bop can slap you down right there we can go ahead and put the diamond in we already have haste too but like let's just maybe get speed to oh jump boost too is actually what i would want yes now we can hop around and do whatever we want this is awesome i also wanted to turn this green so i'm gonna go bam with the oh that's nice dude okay actually wait let's go over here to the other one i can't believe i haven't done this yet but you know what 2000 days celebration let's do it i'm gonna go over to this one and turn this one magenta I've just been keeping it regular beacon, and I could have been putting a stained glass here the entire time. Ah, that magenta, that looks nice. Let's fly up with it. That's beautiful. Guys, thank you so much for coming with me into this 2,000 days journey. It is, this is wild. This is wildly far. It's not often that we get to go 2,000 days into a hardcore series, so enjoy this video. This is a compilation of the next seven episodes after the 1,000 days video. So, guys, again, thank you so much for supporting, coming on the live streams, and uh, you know what? Without further ado, let's get started. Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 7 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We just hit a thousand days, and man, I, man, here's to another thousand. Let's go. One thing I am curious about is this huge shadow coming from this tower. I'm, I'm about to fortune 3 myself all the way down, but uh, uh, it's raining out, and uh, there's a shadow. This doesn't make any sense at all. I think the shaders are glitching out or something like that. It's pretty cool to look at, though. Don't mind the uh, regular deep slate that's in the mix. Yeah, I, one of the biggest pains that no one talks about in Minecraft is the, the accidental silk touching of all of the deep slate. I, I oftentimes will find myself accidentally grabbing so many stacks of regular deep slate that I don't need. I want the cobbled deep slate. And look at these guys. Look at these bees. They just keep getting stuck on the trap doors. Oh my god. There are so many bees down here. I had spent like a few hours on stream getting a bunch of bees unstuck the other day. So, oh, okay, we made it. All right, let's go. Come on, guys. Let's get you out. Let's push you out the side. I'll, I think you can just push them. Yeah, let's, now you're free. Can I? I don't want to hit the bees, man. Actually, it's a bad idea. Let's break you. 
And let's break you. And by the way, we do stream every single day on twitch.tv slash waxfraud, so be feel free to come by anytime. I think this iron golem is stuck. I've seen this iron golem here for a few days now, and... Oh, yep, yeah, you're stuck. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just help you out. I'm doing you a service, man. It's all, Everything's gonna be fine. Just take it. It's gonna be all good. There you go. Everything's looking great, man. Goodbye. Gotta say what's up to John real quick. Are you saying what's up to John, too? Let's go, man. John, where you at? Where you at? John, what's up, dude? How you been? Hold up. We're gonna give you some... There we go. Yeah, everybody eats. Everybody eats. We also need to come over here and say what's up to Daniel. We kind of did wreck Daniel's view, so what I'm gonna do is give Daniel a friend, and it's literally just... Yeah, we have Daniel's friend right here. So we got Daniel, Dan meet Daniel's friend, Daniel's friend, meet Daniel. You guys are... I, f I can tell. You guys are gonna spark. There's a spark here, man. There's a spark. While I'm over here, you might be wondering, why are there acacia saplings everywhere? Why are there acacia trees everywhere? Well, it is because I need some more orange planks, man. I need some more of this uh, acacia wood. It's really nice. I need more acacia trap doors specifically for some builds that are coming up pretty soon. So, yeah, we're going to farm these out for a little bit. Did want to thank you guys for watching the long play. If you did, I actually set up a uh, almost four-hour long play where we built this giant, giant track that takes us all the way back to the raid farm. So, yeah, just appreciate you guys if you did watch that video. Passing by all the wagzalottles. What's up, my guys? How you doing? We are going to pop back here, actually, because I did want to show you guys we got from the Wandering Trader some Dark Oak saplings. So we actually started planting a bunch of these. Word on the street is that uh, actually Dark Oak and Mangrove work really well together. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out on a few of these uh, next coming up builds. A pretty popular uh, comment in the comment section nowadays is in this iron farm. Oh, man, I feel bad for that guy. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's just to do the floor in the iron farm, at least just do the floor. And so that's what I'm doing for some people, man. I'm just going to get the floor done. This is actually the one building I didn't do the interior in, and I feel a little bad. Literally, these lanterns are hanging from dirt blocks. That is, that's not okay. That is just not okay. I'll probably spend an entire stream just doing the interior of this place, because this, this place definitely needs a little bit of love. So you guys are probably wondering, what is, uh, what's the goal of today's video? Well, first things first, guys, we are, let's beat the dragon. We're gonna beat the dragon. Oh my god, a bee is stuck out. Why are all these bees getting stuck, man? Alright, I'm gonna let you out, and you're gonna survive. Go, you're gonna go flourish. Go be free. Literally, go be a bee somewhere. I'm not sure how I missed it, but, uh, there actually was a blaze farm right, uh, kind of near the entrance of that nether portal, and on stream, I actually just walked right past it. I don't know how I missed it the first time when I was here, but uh, yeah, we can actually walk right up to it. Man, we might actually not even need to go to the farm. These guys are chilling right here. I need to get some blaze rods. We need to make some eyes of ender, so let's just smack these guys right out of existence. You can be gone. Uh, you can be gone. Oh, there's a big magma cube right here. You can be gone, sir. I'm gonna just go ahead and say be gone, and uh, I'm gonna say be gone, sir, and uh, wait, you be gone? And here it is, right here, literally like five seconds of just walking around, it's, it's just here. I wonder, how long will it take for these guys to spawn? Alright, literally just like a couple seconds, let's, oh my gosh, you are aggressive, you be gone now. Oh, and we got skellies, alright, let's go guys, come on, one by one, let's go. Be gone, you be gone, let's go this way, how about you be gone, you be gone, be gone, sir, and be gone. Time to go home on our super speedy fast highway. Let's come on now. Let's get on home right now. I didn't even realize that through that excitement, I picked up a wither skeleton skull. So that, I mean, that's pretty cool. We got to get two more, then we can fight the wither. And uh, don't worry, guys, it's not going to be like last time. Last time was a fluke. I, I guarantee it. This time's going to be so much better. We're going to get the eyes of ender here. Let's go. Actually, let's make ourselves an ender chest. We have enough to make. Let's make two ender chests, one that we can make here plant somewhere. Uh, I think right now this is going to be the ender chest spot. All right, let's, uh, I mean, it might be raining, but that's not going to stop us. Let's see where this, uh, let's see where this is going. Okay, right into the spruce trees, right into the direction we've been exploring. Let's do it. I just went away from home, and if I throw it up, and, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, so I just threw it, and this thing, oh, it just broke. Okay, but it actually went the other direction. I'm only about 400, 500 blocks from home, so this is nuts, because it's literally... I mean, that, oh my gosh, it's right here. It literally is right here. Well, uh, down we go. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little staircase here. Okay, all right, we found, all right, we found our way in. Let's go. Oh, okay, I spy. Give me that advancement. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, I hope there's no creepers right around the corner. That would not be very cool. First chest, what do you got? Okay, you know what? That is that is very bountiful. I'll, I'll save you for later. I'll come back. I'll definitely come back for you. So many doors, dude. I've just gone in a straight line. And it's, oh my God, are you serious? No way. Let's go. Let's break this thing. Let's break it now. Get out. Get out of here. Be gone. Oh, this thing literally already has three in it. Okay, so, I mean, we have a bunch left over. We're gonna make a bunch of ender chests. Love that noise. Bing, bang, and boom. Whoa. Ah, oh, man, the shaders make this thing look so cool. 
setting my spawn right here just in case I accidentally forgot to, or if I broke my bed when I left because I don't want to have to go back to spawn, but man, here goes nothing. Oh my god, we, we are all the way out here. This is actually not good. I've never spawned this far out. Uh, the shaders are, look immaculate, but oh my god, there's, and there's the dragon. Alright, well, as careful as we can, let's, uh, just bridge over. There we go. If the dragon just starts shooting at me before I even, like, get over here, that's just, that's gonna be rough, man. That's gonna be really rough. While well, the dragon's being very loud, let's be chill. Let's just look down. Let's be chill. Wow, this whole island is pretty messed up in the middle. Like, the center has this whole area over it, too. That's not actually as... Pretty be this is a pretty decent area to hide from. I'm gonna go ahead and lay an ender chest down real quick. Just do that. Grab some water. Ooh, one thing I forgot is the glass bottles to get me some dragon's breath. Man, she is allowed. We need to take this out right now. Wait, wait, how did I miss that? There we go. You over here need to be gone too. Can we get up in these little guys right here? If we can reach that, that would be per- Oh, perfect. They got- Ah! The Enderman did nothing to you! Honestly, I don't know why uh, this dragon's so mad. There's such a peaceful night sky out here. Get, uh, get the dragon! Come on! One more shot! Two more shots! Let's go! You're done! You are done! You are absolutely destroyed! Be gone, sir. You know what? Be gone. Be gone and more be gone. Damn, this is actually really loud. I forgot how loud this was. That right there. Give me the egg. Boom, we got it. Now, this does look very tempting. I want to jump right back in, go back home. But uh, we need to go get some elytra, man. And uh, that is the key. We're here. I made a little bit of a barrier. I got a little bit of a water area over here so that I can just, like, you know, swim. Get uh, to myself to get... I need to get one by one block. If I can swim over here one by one, then we're good to go. Look at me. I'm chilling. We just pretty much need to walk in, and um, then we'll we'll see what's up. I hope we're good on the other side. Oh my god. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's take some of these down. Let's do it. Got ourselves some chorus fruit. Let's go over here. Let's see. I kind of want to grab me some of this right here. Chorus flowers are actually great for decoration, and I feel like they're underused. Especially with shaders on. Like, look at these. These look these look magnificent. Even a trail of torches. In case I get lost on my way to find in a city, I, I need to get myself some elytra. So, uh, I mean, if we happen to go thousands of blocks without finding a city, at least we'll know our way back. Well, every island is super far apart, so, I mean, we just, we have to see what we have what it takes to bridge across the void. I, uh, I really hope we do, because this is gonna be, I mean, the, the totem can't save us from falling in the void. Oh my god, would you look at that? We have ourselves an end city. Does it have a ship, though? Does. I see one. Yes, okay, first city means one elytra. Honestly, we only need to really raid one of these cities today. I could get a couple shulker boxes, though, too. That would actually be pretty nice. Shulkers, beware. I see you. I hear you, too. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no! Okay, well, uh, we, we're at an end city, and, uh, I, I'm kinda just- I'm gonna chill here, maybe grab an end rod or two. And then we hop back down and we attack. Big on. Big on. Big on. No, no, no. I don't want that. Big on. Big on. And big on, and big on. Ow! There she blows. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's start digging up. We are approaching. Up oh, there it is. I can hear the shulkers. Let's go. Where are we? Where? Oh my god, they're already shooting. Let's get in, in the boat. And I know, I see you here. Leave me alone. You don't need to shoot at me. Get that out of here. Be gone. Oh my gosh, the almighty elytra. Let's take that. Boom. Let's put it on. Boom. I also want to go over here and check. Ooh, I got me some purple block. I actually forgot to collect some of this. Uh, this is going to be fun. I've never, actually never made a build with purple block, but I, I feel like I'm going to do that on this series. I can feel it coming. Work around this way. I always want to be sure. There's been times when the dragon head has dropped, and I don't want to go looking for it, so I'm going to chill here, and oh my god. I almost wasn't able to grab it. Let's float right on, on to the other side of the city. Uh, there's going to be some shulker boxes under here, and... Uh, that's, that's pretty much what we're here for. There you are. Be gone. Be gone. Ow! Ow! Okay, I have been shot uh, a lot of times. This is, this is too many times. There's so many bullets coming at me right now. This is actually, this is, oh, you over here, dude. You need to be gone. I don't know what you think you're doing over, oh, God. Get away, bullet. No! Ow! Oh! Came around the corner. Are you kidding? Now it's time to build up as high as we can. We have enough to make two shulker boxes right now, which is which is perfect. I really don't need anything else. So I think it's time we just we just float on. Let's get on out of here. Flying with this without any unbreaking or any mending is uh, it, it feels a little dangerous. So I am. Oh god, yeah. This is this is definitely a little dangerous, especially without any rockets. Oh boy, yeah. We're gonna have to take it very very easy. 
All right, we are back at the other portal that brought us here. I kind of just want to jump up, and I can kind of just glide myself on in here now, can't I? Let's go! Okay, that was a little weird. Let's hop through and officially beat the game! Yay! Let's go! Uh, there's a lot of things I've never done in this game, and making a new end portal room or a redesigned one is something that I've never done. I think we should do that. Home sweet home. You know, first thing we gotta do is test out a rocket. I just got an advancement for literally putting a potion in here. I put a pre-made potion in here and I got an advancement. That was... Alright, I guess I'll take it. Making an orange shulker box, because that is my favorite color, and then also a light blue shulker box just to offset the, the orange, just, you know, like warm colors. Got a little bit of cold colors too, and uh, there we go. Bunch of rockets. Uh, okay, let's set this off. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, dude. We can finally see our town from the sky. This is amazing. I love how you can just perch up here like a bird. There's the dogs all the way over there. We got our nice little axolotl pond. Man, everything's looking nice and scrumptious. I think over here in this little area where there, for some reason this turtle, I'm not sure why, but he thinks that that is the ocean. But I think we're going to have to build our, ourselves a little bit of a, a sheep shearing wool farm right over in this area. Daniel and Daniel's friend, what do you guys say I uh, put a little bit of a building right next to you guys? Preemptively taken off this Rainbow Mountain one because, uh, you know, we're about to make the sheep shearing wool farm, so Rainbow Mountain and it is inevitably going to come. We have a little bit of, I mean, we have a couple of sheeps here. Come on, you guys can get out now. Let's let a couple of you guys on out. One, at least one more. Are you guys, come on now. There's, there's so many cows downstairs too. All right, guys, I'll let, let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. One of you guys at a time. I'm going to lead these sheep out to the... Uh, oh my god, it is so it is so incredibly loud right here. I don't think these sheep can pathfind over campfires. Neither can the bees, man. They all just kind of get stuck. I go down here, and now they can pathfind. All right, guys, follow me to the other side of the map. I just want to make more sheep while we're here. What's up, my little dude? Now there are 15 sheep that we're going to have to get in here. And I have a do I do have a classic setup where I put five on one side, five on the other, five on the other. Uh, three sides with one side being an entrance with no sheep on it. And then the white sheep in the middle. Uh, just because that just delivers the plain white block. Go ahead and pick a spot. I think right here is going to be okay for the first sheep. You're going to want to build an area out uh, so you can go ahead and get down with some stairs if you want to build it out later. I might dig some deep slate down here. Uh, but you're going to want to put a chest down here that'll lead into a hopper. We're going to go ahead and put a rail on that, and then we'll put a hopper minecart on that to go ahead and catch anything that comes from the grass right here. All right, now, guy, you're going to be the first victim. How about you walk on in here? Come on, bud, let's get on in here now. Yep, mm-hmm, get on in here. All right, so you can just chill right there, and I'm just going to push you into the hole. There you go, and now you're in. Actually, going to make this guy the red sheep, and we're going to throw a little bit of redstone down right here. Boom, there we go. Now, once this guy takes a bite of the grass, it's going to shear him, and then we'll have a little bit of red wool down in the chest. Well, as you can see, I got a little bit carried away. I, uh, you know, I just couldn't really wait. I got the redstone up on all these little blocks here, but, uh, I mean, you know, we could get the shroom light down here to light up in between all the deep slate that we put down for the floor, and yes, the deep slate is going on the floor everywhere it possibly can. A little bit of decoration in the middle never hurt nobody. I think the lanterns in the middle are probably going to provide a lot of much needed light in here. Probably should decorate this little bed area that we have set up in here as well. I think my favorite part, I think my favorite part about this build is when we just color up the entirety of the top of the little square on top of the sheep here and put a little bit of a glowstone right in the middle because when you hop down, it starts, it just looks like a ray of sunlight just popping right down onto the sheep. I just, I love that right there. I know that pink and brown don't really belong next to each other on the rainbow, but uh, you know what? We're just going to let this one slide. Now to surround the edges with the oak and then obviously we're just going to go around stripping that oak. Go over here, give it a little bit of a bing, bang, boom, and actually in the corner, gonna go bing, bang, boom, and bop as well. A little bit of acacia in the way, you gotta get out of here, bud. Now we just gotta border it up, I believe. Yeah, this is probably just gonna be the whole, the entirety of the height. Oh god, I just, I just took flight, I didn't even mean to, that was insane. I'm really enjoying this color palette that we have going on here. It's a very neutral color when it's stripped, uh, the oak wood is rather, but yeah, this panda sanctuary is actually a little inspirational for this build. I kind of want to use that same dome look that we used right there, but for right here as well. So I'm going to go every other, I'm going to start doing this dome. On the side, we actually have the propagules in, we have the ferns on the top, and then behind the azalea, the flowered azaleas to be more exact. Now I kind of want to get some glow berries. I really wanted to get a more natural look on all of this and so we'll bring all this down and in order to get some natural light we'll probably get this bone mealed a little bit i might bone meal some random ones i also wanted to come through and use these jungle trap doors i actually think they look really good on the neutral looking oak come back and lay some buttons down too and then of course with the cherry on top we have the tiled wall into the fence into the chain into the lanterns and these are actually going to go all the way around 
Now, like I mentioned, all these spikes, it is coming from a little bit of inspiration over here without the mangrove, I guess, but I did want to continue adding some of these gates to the top here because I just think it has a little bit more texture. It's also just another way of preventing any mob spawning up here. Also, if I didn't mention already, this turtle right here is, uh, he's in the hole because, uh, yeah, he's a troublemaker. Every time he gets out of this hole, and I'll, I'll even let him out right now, see which direction he wants to go. Every single time they get out of a hole, they end up just, he, he, he tries to go right back in here, and I do not know why. Look at him. There we go. He's on his way in. This is, okay. He is just trouble, man. And also, on a sheep shearing wool farm, I never have really made myself a, a decent, like, awning or a porch. And so, I think that's what we're going to do right now. Dude, stop pushing me. I'm going to push you right back in the hole if you don't do that. Man, I, uh, I just love having the elytra. And, oh, wow, yeah, this is looking, like, very much like a pyramid now that we are getting up and at it from far away. I need to actually climb up here get to the tippy top and dude elytra just makes the lives of minecrafters so much easier i go up here put a slab on top the quartz stairs are going to make a little flag here we'll go bam and then we'll go bing boop drop down we're going to go bop also if you're wondering what that thing up there in the sky is that's just my uh, my little afk pad that i use now i can actually get all the way up there with my rockets maybe it takes about one two i think yeah it's going to take three maybe four rockets to get all all the way up here dude we're at build height it is, uh, yeah, it's incredible. Oh, we went all the way past it already. Let's go here. Boom. Looking good, town. Looking good. Even the villagers have started wandering over to this part of the town, too. This is, this is amazing. I, uh, okay, we have to fix this little sand part. We have to make the front yard look nice as well. Oh, yes. Also, the interior. Totally forgot about this. Just gotta fix this side here, and I always forget when you're inside of this sheep shearing wool farm, it's just constant baths. It's so much. The sheep get so loud in here. On the edge of each of the corners, I am going to use these. I'm actually gonna put the lanterns up as well. It's just a simple way to get it lit up in here, and uh, that way nothing can spawn while I decide, if I ever decide to just AFK right about here, hopefully nothing decides to spawn. Also, I think, oops, that's not right. Also, oh, I guess what's a wax rod episode without a misplacement there, um, but I think a little bit of gate action right up here not going to be too shabby for this build. It's like the inverted side of the outside too, because this is uh, the exact same pattern with the gates is going right on the roof. I thought it would be cool if the center was just lit up with a glowstone beam kind of like this. And we'll get this last guy right here. And then I think I'm going to surround it kind of like how I did the bottom here with glass. Just come right back up and uh, but just surround the glowstone with a nice little thin layer of these glass blocks. I also thought it would be kind of interesting to go around, place a little bit of the fences and ton un under those walls there, and place a little bit of chain. You guys know exactly what's already going to happen. A little bit of lantern action right there. I love this little front entrance area that we've created. I'm actually just going to continue using these trap doors because I think it looks pretty nice. Actually, I I've never really used the jungle and oak combo, but I'm going to continue. Oh, man, I'm falling. I'm going to continue using that combo, though. Let's also take on the inside. I wanted to just light it up a little bit. Oh, that might be too much. We can go boom and boom and maybe at the top one. Man, I really do like this build. If you are wondering how to make this, I actually do have a tutorial um, on my channel in the tutorial section. Feel free to go check that out. It's actually one of the first tutorials that I ever made. It's not actually going to be the oak material, but um, I mean, it, it, it is going to be the concrete in that one. In a different series, I made it with Deep Slate, the 1.17, 1.18 series, but this time I just wanted to go different. So three third time's a charm. I think this one actually is my favorite. Now we're gonna start Rainbow Mountain. I always like to start with a light blue and that is because light blue just reminds me the most of the watercolor. We're gonna be floating just a little bit over here. I might have to just be, I might have to just make a little path. Dude, these sheep over here have been eating so much. Look at all this. There's so much. Did you see that? All these dirt blocks. Anyways, we do it in the desert because there's no lightning in the desert, and so there's no chance of any of this catching on fire because we're not using concrete. We are using wool. So like if I place this right here, this is going to catch on fire. I'm going to have to take this lava out. What we're going to do is start down here, but it's not at sea level, which is weird, but we'll start right down here at sea level. We go bing, bang, boom, and bop, and Rainbow Mountain has begun. This is normally a project that is done live on stream, so if you guys want, definitely just come, come to Twitch anytime, join us on stream. A lot of this is going to get done there, because it is a pretty busy work. I'm not going to really spend an entire episode here on YouTube doing it, unless there was just a little bit of commentary that had to be made. I guess I could do it. Or we could do more YouTube streams. I actually have been thinking about getting back on into YouTube and doing more of them more often. I've only ever done one on YouTube. I just really do like the Twitch community that we've made over there. And the colors are going to start getting a little bit warmer. We're going to go up with the cyan, and then we're going to go to dark green, lime green, yellow, into orange, into red, into pink. It's going to end up going all the way around. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for joining on the streams. Thank you for joining the Patreon. If you did, I really do appreciate it. Sorry for the delay on this episode. I know it took a while. I just was recording a lot for the SMP content. I'm in two different SMPs at the moment, so it's kind of just a little hectic with the schedule, but it's fun, man. I love it.
Anyways, guys, just do something nice for someone, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you for episode 8. Hi, everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 8 of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play series. Let's get into it. We got a lot of stuff to do today. You might notice that I am standing on and creating a rainbow-colored hill at the moment. This is what's going to be known as Rainbow Mountain. So take a look at this. This is nuts. I'll fly back like this. Just the beginning. Only one layer on one side of the desert. If we actually complete this project, we're going to actually cover the entire desert. And this desert is huge. And this is also where we spawned. Like, there's the desert that we hit back in episode one. And here's the village that we raided back in episode one also. So we're right next to... We're not too far from everything back at home. And when this thing gets finished, it's going to look beautiful. We've made one in previous hardcore worlds. And uh, so I do know better by now what I'm going to do is start placing torches because that's how we did lose our 1.17, 1.18 hardcore world. I built an entire rainbow mountain, forgot to cover up the entire desert with torches, and we ended up blowing up to multiple creepers at once, uh, even with the totem. Popped the totem and then died shortly after. So that uh, that was no fun. Just got to make sure everything's lit up beforehand. Obviously, the 16 torches that I have right now are not going to light up the entire desert. So I do have two shulker boxes that we got last episode. I got the light blue one, I got the orange one, and with the fancy texture pack, it's, it's I love the texture pack. Only thing is, uh, it's still purple when you open it up, so that is something I hope they do update, but yeah, the rest of the texture pack is amazing. Got me a new spyglass here. I can uh, spy on everything in my city. What's going on? Who's doing crimes? You're doing crime, sir? I know you're doing crime. I did want to go back to the end, though, because uh, we need more shulker boxes. I want to get every single color of shulker box. Let me take your bed, bud. Also, thanks for watching the last episode. If you did, we built a lot of the interior on stream, but most of this was built during the YouTube video. Uh, so thanks for watching episode seven. If you did, we built this nice auto sheep shearing wool farm. We'll probably build more layers later on. But for right now, we got this one mighty fine layer and it's uh, producing a lot of rainbow mountain material. We need to make more rockets. I'm going through the end. 20 rockets is not going to do it. So let's get more paper. And OK, we only have 38 paper. Wow. Yeah, we have some scattered sugar. Um, we're gonna we're definitely gonna have to make a sugarcane farm this episode yeah uh, later this episode sugarcane farm that's what's going on sorry cows I gotta mend my elytra real quick it's it's for the greater good I promise it's it's for the greater good that villager breeder is just sprouting little dudes up all over the place uh, you know what go go be free man go be free also wanted to mention on the beach here if you put a little bit of end stone right next to the path and like you know just next to sand blocks it doesn't look too bad, and these things grow pretty quickly. I actually just planted them a few minutes ago, and they just they sprout right up so quickly. They turn into pretty big trees, and they're a great renewable resource. Ooh, now that I'm back here, actually, all these blocks seem kind of tasty. I'll probably take these back and use them for path blocks back home. All the mossy cobblestone, even the cracked cobble. Oh, that's good stuff, man. Well, let's go back through, and boop. Loud noises, a lot of endymons over there, and you know what's great? I don't know if I, I don't necessarily have to go through that now, because all you have to do is remember that this is at zero zero. You can fly up right. You know what? Let's go up here where these uh, stars used to be. Let's go right here. Boom. Looking good. You know what? Eventually, we're going to take all this out. We're going to make this look real nice. Well, uh, you know what? Here goes nothing. Let's, uh, let's fly off into the distance and hope that we can find some islands in the time... Uh, that, uh, I mean, you know what? Hopefully our elytra doesn't break. This is uh, a little bit scary because I don't see anything. All I see is a, a nice little uh, purple beam in the distance and a bunch of stars. Ooh, we have islands. Oh, I went so high up. So high up. Well, I'm glad that we can see land now because I can gauge, like, how far I'm going and how fast I'm going. Got ourselves an end city. I don't think I've explored this because I don't see a tower up here. This is pretty nice. Uh, we actually only had to use a few rockets to get over here, so that's pretty cool, too. Uh, brand new shulker boxes. What's up, my guy? How you doing? Ow, oh, God. How you doing? Thank you. I'm going to take you. Thank you for everything. And then let's uh, run over on in here. I'm going to take... You know what? No, sir. I, I don't like that. I'll take this and that and this and... I'm going to take the second elytra here in case mine breaks. Oh, my God. This guy's in here, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, my guy. I say no to you. All right. Let's let's uh, let's start from the top over here. Let's get any shulker boxes up in this tower and work our way down. We're going to get every single shulker box here. What's up, dude? How you doing? I hear you, but I don't see... I see you and be gone. Oh, my God. There are so many bullets, dude. All right. I'm going to get in there and you can be gone. I'm going in. Let's go. Ah, 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 ah. Sir, we are not doing this today. We are done. Be gone. Thank you. And where's your friend at? Where's your... You know what, sir? I, f I found... You know what? We're done. We're not doing this today. 
Just gonna turn the corner, run in here, go bam, bam. Don't shoot at me, don't shoot at me, you're gone, thank you. We have to get these guys here, and there are so many bullets coming this way. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure we have well over 30 now, so we can get all of the colors. I'm gonna grab me some XP, a couple more shulker boxes. I do love this city, but it is for sure timed- Oh, what's up, my Endermans? It, it, it is time to get out of here. I believe we needed to come from this direction over here. Aha, and from very far away, I can see our home base. Ah, here goes nothing! Oh, oh jeez. Before we go back, I did want to take some of these. Oh gosh, I should use Silk Touch. I really need to- Oh man, I really should. Anyways, we, uh, I'm gonna take all of these guys right here, and I actually did bring some shears with me, or at least I hope I brought the shears. Where are they at? Where are they at? They're right here, perfect, so I'm glad. I'm gonna take home some cobwebs, because we don't have any cobwebs yet, but we do have a little bit of string, and we can actually use this to make string if we need more, but right now, just in case, cobwebs are pretty fun to play. Ooh, actually, what is this? Multi-shot, efficiency three, power three, not bad. Wouldn't be completely taken out the library if we didn't check this last chest right here. Bane of Arthropods 4, knockback 2. You know what? Not bad. I'm just going to take it all and then let's take this. Let's get on out. Of course, the bees are stuck literally all over the house. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> Wanted to show you guys the third floor. It's finally done. Actually, here, I'll show you. The fourth floor is the one to not look at. Don't close your eyes, close your eyes, but we can actually hop out the side like this. We can fly in and out like so. We fly right back on in. We're basically in the house in no time. But yeah, uh, we have some storage all the way down this way, and you can turn the corner. We can put our purple blocks back in here. We have a nice little area for all the dyes from last episode, and we have ourselves a nice little egg shrine. Finally, I accidentally touched this on stream too, and it just disappeared. Found it on the roof though, about five minutes later. It took a little bit, but we got it. I never thought we'd be able to fit so much into such little space, but uh, you know, I mean, the house isn't small, but man, there is. We have basically every item in here. Let's put all the bookshelves back, and you know what? These guys are, you know, they are popping up everywhere. We have one over there, they're kind of in the way. There was another one. I think he might have, actually don't know what happened, but there was, there's this guy now. I need to get somewhere safe and just, let's just, you know what? Let's go up here. Come at me, dude. Come at me. Wait, is he gonna be able to come up here? Nah, he can't. He, he can't do nothing. I'm gonna come in through the side and ambush them. Let's go. Sorry about this, my guys. I know you were loyal. And you, sir? Ah, uh, yeah, he was coming at me. Do you, you can just be gone, sir. You got those evil eyes. You can be gone right now. And your friend over here looking just as evil. You can be gone. I'm gonna go this way, though, because I don't want to be in the same room as you when you're mad. You're not yourself when you're angry, man. Look at you. Look at yourself keep hearing villagers fall and I think it's one of these dudes because it's in this area they keep just running up and jumping off these stairs and I am pretty sure that I have I thought I made this safe man but I don't think it is and what are you guys even doing right now why are you doing this glad that we went on that adventure because now we have more than enough shulkers to finish this rainbow we can actually go through here I'm probably gonna put orange in where it needs to go let's put light blue in where it needs to go and then we're gonna put the regular shulker in right here because it's more of like a neutral grayish purple instead of like the more vibrant purple back here but this is it we have a full rainbow spectrum of the shulker boxes not sure when i'm going to be using all of these at once but you never know the the day might come i'm gonna chest in the sheep sharing wool farm filled up with shears because we need to uh, go ahead and start filling up a couple more of these we have been playing a lot streaming a lot during this and so there is a there's a lot of shears that need to get re-added to this almost every day because we want to make sure that rainbow mountain is getting as big as possible it's uh yeah we're, we're using up a lot of the wool and as you can see only covering up the sandy portions because uh if we go anywhere over into the grass that could possibly start a fire if any lightning happens to strike something that i thought might be cool was for a little bit of decoration using the uh you know the hershey bar trap door and just putting a little chorus flower right here it's not going to be able to grow but it's going to look nice in the corner there i don't i don't really know i don't really I didn't, there's nowhere else to really put anything like this if you don't put anything on top of it it's going to grow also so make sure something is on top of it like a trap door or something like that maybe some purple carpet or magenta carpet let's go over here and clear out some of the dark what just how did that hurt me right there i sometimes i'll land on the ground and it'll hurt me and i, I just figured like how, how? I don't know how. We do need to take out these dark oak trees, though. There's too many of them. We need some dark oak wood. You, you, bet, you better believe that we are using this today. After clearing that and the rest... Oh, there's a little sapling. And the rest of the field, we have... I mean, we can just take a look out here. There is so much space. Now, we have a lot to work with. I think if we perch up here like a little bird, we can uh, get a little bit more... Oh, my God. Hold up a second here. My dude, what are you even stuck on? This is a slab... This is not a trap door. This is, look at this. This is, mm, my dude, you are, oh my god, get out of here. Go be, go be a bee, man. I'm gonna spend half this series just 
unstucking bees, man. Anyways, we have a lot of room right here. I think it would be really cool if we made like a field of sugarcane right here with some water rivers right about where I'm standing right now. And then back here was a giant sugarcane tower. I uh, hope we have enough observers for this. We have three. Okay. And the pistons were easily, okay. We can make those, but man, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the nether. We are gonna have to make uh, a trip to go get some more quartz. Ah, uh, nether, sweet nether. Actually, you know what? I forgot now that I have a pair of elytra, I can, let's run over here and take some flight. I know we're gonna be, wait, 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 wait. We're chilling. Okay, we're good. Yeah, let's fly, and yeah, let's go. Wow, we can pretty much go anywhere we want to. The, uh, dude, that, our little highway that we made is starting to look kind of nice from up here. I do like that a lot. Let's go ahead and go up and over. Oh, man, this is just, this is making travel a lot easier. Find our quartz over here. Here's the highway again, and there's our little nether fortress. Ah, it's looking so cute. This delta is huge. I, uh, I really hope I'm able to find my way back home. Oh, my God, it's so fun exploring here. And we found another fortress. This one actually might be even closer than the one that I had originally started exploring. This is nuts. Well, that's actually really good to know. I know it's easy to trade for the glowstone, but while I'm here getting the quartz, I might as well grab me. A I mean, there's like 30 of them right here. I might as well just grab them. I am just gonna gobble up this quartz. Give me all the XP. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right, so I'm no scientist, but I, I see some lava blocks right here and I see nothing under them and they're not floating down. Um, so now me not being a scientist, normally I wouldn't say anything, but this this doesn't seem right at all. I'm I'm in the fortress here, just just you know, just looking at stuff. And if we uh, if we happen to just get a, take a closer look right here, this is this is lava, and it is floating, and there's absolutely nothing keeping it from uh, going down. And so th that leads me to believe that gravity does not exist. Gravity is not real, and uh, that is final. Another cool thing about Elytra is that I get to go down here and fight this guy just like this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, God. No, sir, please. Wait. No, stop shooting at me. Hold on. I want to come back this way, and we're going to do this the right way. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go bam. Wait, can I hit that? I'm going to hit you. Don't hit me. I hit you. We got ourselves a gas tier, so that's, you know, that's something. Oh, my God. I just found another fortress. This is, okay, this is fortress number three. Oh, look at that lava falling. This is nuts, and we have an open blaze spawn out there. Okay, that's kind of cool. I've been out here looking for a soul sand valley. I was looking for just some soul soil, uh, just because it's a block that I actually don't have in my possession yet, but I am not able to find one. I might have to just turn around and call it a day. This is how bad I actually need the shuriken. I'm going up to the beach to grab the egg. Oh no, I broke a sh No, I'm sorry, eggs. I'm so sorry. That crunch is just a terrible sound. There's so many turtle eggs over here. Yeah, I'm collecting uh, sugar cane on the beach so that I can use it for my farm. That's how badly I need it right now. Also, what's going on, Daniel? Daniel's friend, how you guys doing? How you guys been? Have, are you guys enjoying the shulker boxes? I, I sure hope you are. Up and down with the materials. I'm using my handy dandy favorite orange shulker box right here. I think I'm just, you know what? I think we'll just plug the, uh, the building right here and then we'll build a nice sugar cane field. Uh, that gives it a more natural, organic look out there. So it can be efficient inside and detailed on the outside. I have more than enough observers now and more than enough pistons. So first you're gonna go- Oh, man, I am always- Okay, I'm always- I am wasting so many rockets, dude. I am just- oh, I'm gonna run out so quickly. I'm gonna have to make a creeper farm after this. Making a cross here because all of the sugarcane is gonna be flowing down the middle. I'm actually gonna- show you now we'll put the sugar cane down the side like this actually i do need to bring this back by one because i forgot that they are actually going to be touching right here so i'll have to bring that back get a row of pistons going here real quick get some deep slate behind that row of observers never hurt nobody line that up with some redstone now when we put all the sugar cane down right here and it grows three tall, it should chop all of these. So we're going to give it one test like this and boom. Okay, so now you'll notice that some of them are going to get caught right here. That's okay. I really, it doesn't bother me that much because we're going to catch at least like half of them. And uh, we're coming out for, there's eight different sides that it's going to be happening on. So we're going to get more than enough sugar cane. It's okay if some gets lost to the grass. We could set up a little hopper minecart system if we wanted to get more efficient. Get a line of glowstone up here too. You'll notice I'm using deep slate tile on the inside right now. I actually really do like to um, decorate the inside of all these farms with the deep slate tiles, but with the outside, I think we're gonna be using a lot of dark oak and a lot of mangrove. So the inside's completed for the most part. All of these waterways are gonna keep going down into here, into these hopper system in the middle. Got a glowstone on each side. We got one, two, and even on the top, I decided to put some glowstone. I haven't put it on all three sides yet because I don't know if I'm going to build up or down, but if we do go down below this, you can see 
I'll take this out uh, in the middle so that we can go all the way around. I'll take you, sir, and then I will take this right here. And so, bam, we have this nice little cart that goes around and grabs everything that lands on the grass. So now we're as efficient as possible. All of these hoppers go down into a system which is just right down into here. Obviously, I'm going to make this a better area. I've only put some deep slate in here for right now, but it's collecting somewhat. Yeah, especially in the middle. Yeah, we're getting some nice looking sugar cane here. Couple things for decoration here on the inside. Obviously, it's going to be lit up, but the glowstone on the inside, shroom lights on the outside are going to be doing it for me. We do have the dark oak pillared up. I don't know if I'm going to be wanting to use these Hershey bars right here for the windows or not. I mean, that looks okay, but I'm, uh, we'll have to we'll have to double check here because I mean the the spruce trap doors not the spruce trap doors the mangrove trap doors these actually might work as well I, I don't know which one is going to look better though we'll have to play around with some of the blocks and square it up right here so that we can get a nice five by five because when we do that we can actually get a nice gauge of how to decorate everything we're going to do the obvious wall to fence to gate to chain link to lantern as far as these front sides go i mean the the wall to fence to chain to lantern action it's not going to work on every side we can't just do that all the time so the composters and a little bit of hershey chocolate bar right here never hurt nobody i just love how efficient this thing is actually going to be and uh, now we can actually start to focus on the roof itself and that's obviously not the right place where that's not where i wanted the roof to go but it's what we're just going to live with it for now because for some reason i can't go a single episode without uh, messing up at least a little bit of part of the build and the roof you know i mean it's not going to look hopefully too you know that's that's not bad we'll get that done on all four sides it's going to be kind of like a higher more high up version of what we did with the iron farm obviously different types of wood as well but yeah we're gonna have to double this up on or quadruple it up on all four sides here and now that we're working with the stairs it's kind of getting me thinking down here i'd like to use some dark oak stairs on the bottom to kind of make it look like it has a little bit more of a thick foundation. I think that since down here all the decorations are going to be for the most part mangrove, I think I'm going to make the roof as much as I can uh, a little bit of dark oak. And that's also because a lot of this stuff out here that you see is going to be mangrove from a distance. So I think a majority dark oak roof is probably the best bet here to get a little bit more, you know, just variability within the village. The upstairs part decorated, we're actually just going to put a bunch of tiled walls on the side here. Hang a couple of lanterns for some light and get a gate right there. Also, for some more color, we're going to get some oak trap doors in here and actually decided on these downstairs as well. Then for the bottom, we have our nice little plant right here. We can go bing, we can go bang. Oh, that was wrong. That was 100% wrong because we're going to go over here. We're going to go bang. And then if I can get a light right there, that is a decorated area. And actually, you know what? Let's get some buttons. Buttons never hurt nobody. We're going to go bam, we're going to go bam, and maybe we can go bam climbing up here actually in the middle since we don't have anything to put right there we're gonna put an azalea bush right at the top and we have a little bit of stairs right here for the roof well we decided to put a little bit of window action in and uh, i just ran out of stairs so we're coming up to finish this right here at the tippy top we'll just go bam bam and bam if i fly down this way you'll see this one is finished right here we're going to use some trap doors right here right there then it's time to get this a little bit decorated i think i got up there already i did okay let's go bam and bam and we'll get the fences in here too i'm really liking the oak and mangrove deep slate and dark oak mixture here i like all four of those blocks together it's really starting to look nice last thing here we got to get these oh and a fell uh hold up can we get a lantern right here a lantern right there we're good to go also, down at the bottom, how I mentioned we put in the oak trap doors, down here we also have some tile walls with these hooked up with the plants, and then on the sides here we're going to have some plant action over here as well, just so that makes it look a little bit more nice. On the sides, we're going to get a little bit more decorative with these down here. We'll probably put these actually down here as well. Where are my buttons at? My buttons are always going to make this look nice right there and right there on both sides and never can go wrong with more azalea pots. Now, when I'm up here building the decoration on the second level, usually I like to give it a, a bing, a, a boom, and a bop on each side, uh, but now uh, sometimes it's smart to also give it a, a, a schling, a shloom, and a schlop. And uh, if you don't know what that means, then I'm, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know if I can help you. Now we finally get to complete the tippy top of the roof. Man, I am excited. This build actually took a lot longer than it may seem. We spent two whole streams building this, and I'm still not even done. 
actually down to my last rocket, so I'm gonna head back down here for a second. And oh man, yeah, I really need to add some light down in here. Let's grab three stacks of sugar cane. We're gonna turn this into paper and then turn it into some rocket. I do love how fast we're collecting the sugar cane though, because we just got ourselves a bunch of rockets really fast. So the building looks pretty done. I actually do like the way that this is looking a lot. It's it's looking nice, it's looking homey. It looks a little bit old too. Oh, I'm gonna have to put some flowers in that little flower bed right there, but. One thing I'm going to have to do is also go ahead and move these dogs, man. These dogs are all over the place. There's like 50 of them left right here. And I also wanted to go right about here, start myself a couple lines worth of uh, sugarcane farm. We're going to go outside as well. And these dogs right here are just, all right, you're kind of in the way, bud. I'm trying to make a sugarcane. Feel. Let's get you up. We got to, you know what? We have to start taking all these guys. We have to get all you out of the way. There are absolutely way too many dogs right now to be sitting down. All right, pups, pups, everybody just sit down. Sit down, please. Just sit down. Time to fill the other side in. I got a bunch of rows of water coming right up. Now we can line up each row with its own respective little awning here. Now these awnings are going to go pretty high up. We're going to go up four blocks, go up right there. We're going to use a slab and then we're going to go down. We're going to go over one, go over two, go down one. It's kind of weird when you place in slabs, so you're going to have to keep on breaking them over and over if you're following what I'm doing. No, don't do that. Bottom row can be filled in just like so, and then you can go ahead and put the trap doors in to kind of smooth out. That's not the right spot. I really got to be careful here. We got to put a trap door right there. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, we're going to put a trap door right there and right here. Nice. Now we have a pretty grand hallway right here looking all the way down the middle and right down here We just have a nice little bit of light We can run through and break this all we want because we have water flowing on every single side of the sugar cane Which I'm pretty sure makes it grow faster than normal, but uh, to top it off here I'm gonna go ahead and put the azalea bushes right here just to you know make it look nice and kind of more garden like flying down here this is just wow i'm really this is really starting to look great i'm gonna keep on replacing some of the path like we usually do with the deep slate and the various other blocks here and we even kind of tidied this up a little bit i made it so the deep slate kind of looked like it's going like melding into the stone and the stones coming down here as well and then down here we have a complete deep slate room now for all of our sugarcane needs that is going to be it, though, for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, dude, I can't believe it. We've never made a really, like, a field of sugarcane like this, and, like, a sugarcane farm as big as the one behind me. I've never really done that as well. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate y'all for stopping by all the Twitch streams. Now, again, that is twitch.tv slash waxfraud, and feel free to stop by anytime. We do stream every single day. Also, thank you guys for joining the Patreon if you have so far. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Like, that extra support, it really does mean a lot some jungle trees out here let's see what these end up looking okay this guy doesn't want to grow why don't we just go over here then I'm gonna plant another type of jungle tree let's go over here you want to be one yeah let's go but yeah guys thanks again for watching episode nine is gonna be coming out very very soon stay tuned and thanks again for watching hi everybody wax fraud here and welcome back to episode nine of the hardcore let's play series we are in the middle of the sugarcane farm right now that we built on the last episode and there are a couple new things that i wanted to show you we have farmer dan up here he's chilling he's got his cup of coffee he just be chilling it, he, he does what he has to do in his tractor over here we built this thing on stream we actually did a couple of things on stream here and by the way twitch.tv slash wax fraud come join we stream every single day i thought it would be a good idea to put some lighting here so we put upside down stairs mossy stairs actually on every single side here with a different colored tulip and also so that we can run in between these i put uh i put oak trap doors right above the water so that we can kind of just sprint gather as much sugar cane from right here as we want although we don't necessarily need to go grab it from there that's just for looks because we can grab it from right here where it's just constantly collecting sugar cane we've already taken a bunch from there to make more elytra i mean more rockets oh gosh and uh yeah we're still loaded up with plenty we actually decorated a bunch of stuff over here in a long play and thank you guys for watching the long plays i really do appreciate you but this little part of town right here i'm, I'm enjoying it it was like a little empty space but now it uh, it feels more lively there's villagers that are actually starting to move in over here we have this guy he's just hopping around the back i know there's some fishermen that popped in over here and yeah they're taking their uh their little spaces up in these little market stalls and since we're talking about adding more life i'm gonna go to a little spot like right here where i don't know why but i forgot to put the flag on top like i'm gonna put a little oak fence right here then we can hop up with our quartz blocks or our quartz slabs rather to be exact hop up with two and then one and then two and then one and then bam and bam and people have been calling me out in the comments that over there yes it is still 
diorite. We did diorite in episode one uh, for this flag right here, and this has to be changed to court. These guys are all still stuck up here. Like, get, get, hold on, get down, dude. There you go. I just have to push you. Oh, and I'm falling. This guy right out here. Do you need, do you need help? How do you, how do you, you know what? And the bees are usually over here too. And guess what? There's also this guy. I, yep, he's still here. This guy, why? How did you get here? There is absolutely no way at all for you had, like, to be able to get up here. How? How are you up here, man? I'm gonna push you down. Very, it's gonna be a nice, cozy little fall. Ugh, be careful. Okay, you're fine, dude. You're fine. Just go live in the, you're good. I thought you were gone. I didn't see that dude for like a total of a hundred days in this world. And it, I found him up here and I don't know how he got up here. Take your job back, sir. Reintegrate yourself into society. It's all going to be a-okay. Rolling through here because we got to say what's up to John and uh, the parrots too. We haven't said what's up to the parrots in a while. People were saying that in the comments that we haven't said what's up to the parrots at all since episode one. And so I'm here to say what's up to the parrots right now. Howdy doody, man. And my boy John. Where's John at? John roams the land. John! What's up, dude? How do it be? John, it's time to feed you. It's time for, there you go, all the food you ever wanted. There you go, sir. Might as well take a trip. Oh, gosh, over here to say uh, what's up to Daniel and, you know, Daniel's friend. What's up, Daniel? What's up, Daniel's friend? How you guys doing? Taking care of the shulker boxes? Thank you very much. Now, I've been trying my best to keep everything as decorated as possible. I, I like to have a lot of life in the village. I like to see it breathing. I like a lot of different colors of flowers everywhere. And one that I am missing right now is the blue orchid. I have not had a lot of blue orchids in here. There's some blue orchids down by the starter house, like right here, and I believe there's a couple around the corner, but yeah, I mean, this is, for the most part, is it for the blue orchids. We we really don't have that many. I mean, there's some in the front yard right here. Yeah, this guy. We I think we need to fly over to the mangrove swamp to get a bunch more. Let's go ahead. I think I have some more rockets in the rocket barrel, and we do. Let's go. We should be able to make it over in uh, not that many rockets, because... Uh, Actually, now that we have Elytra, we can get anywhere pretty quickly. I was about to leave, and then I saw this little guy right here, this little pointy, this little, oh, I landed. That was kind of nice. I need to get right here, right there. Let's go up, and then we'll go down one more, and then we're going to go up, and we got ourselves a nice little flag. Oh, uh, yeah, there's the uh, there's the spruce village from episode one. How cozy. And we got our little ice area over here, not looking too bad. Ooh, an ocean monument. Now that we're all geared up, we actually, we might be able to take one of those on. Aha, now here we are, classic mangrove swamp area. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and fly in, and uh, let's find a nice little area to just kind of bone meal it up, or like where there at least are already a couple blue orchids and we can start bone mealing, because then we just need as many as possible. Oh, I love how the mud kind of crawls up the sand here. This is a really cool terrain. Oh, while I was getting more orchids, I ended up finding another frog just kind of stranded out here by him, by his all, all by his lonesome. So that's kind of cool. Unless this was one of the tadpoles that I lost, I actually don't know. But we do have a frog now. Ooh, so many chickens right here. Sorry, buddy. I know. Yeah, it's just it is tradition. Oh my God, that's two. You made me miss two times. Actually, you know, we have, I think we kind of did decimate the entire, if not, yeah, I think we did decimate the entire population of the chickens uh, back at home. So we might have to bring a couple of these back because unfortunately the, chi the chicken, I do need some, I, do, I need eggs. So I'm probably going to round up two chickens, make a small chicken coop, even though I said I wouldn't do it. I think I am going to do it just to add a little bit of a small chicken area in the town. About 40 rockets later, we are home, and actually now you can see that Rainbow Mountain is surely coming along. We have uh, made our way a little bit down here, uh, across this little river on the desert biome during streams, and it's it's been pretty fun. But yeah, now that we are back in the town, it's kind of, I'm going to start looking for some chickens out in this. Oh my god, these pandas too. Do you guys remember? I brought all these pandas back to town, and they made their way all the way back to this forest. They just claimed their land as the natural pandas of the wild. But there has got to be a chicken in here somewhere. We'll, we'll find it. Is there any in this field? Do we have any, any chickens at all in this field whatsoever? You have been spotted, target acquired. Let's go, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to run. I have a, look at this. I have a seed. Yeah, I have a seed. Follow me, buddy. Come here. I've led this chicken all the way across town. This, uh, you're gonna, man, you better appreciate this little coop that you're about to get. I feel like it only makes sense to put the chicken coop next to the barn. So we'll probably sneak it in this little area. So, oh God. Yeah, we might have to get rid of... Uh, this field of dogs over here. Sorry, pups. Yeah, you might have to get moved once again. Come on in here, buddy. And bam, kablam, you're done. Get out of here. 
off to find another chicken. There's bound to be another one somewhere in this forest. I had to fly all the way, uh, okay, ow, all the way into a savanna biome. I'm just gonna, you know what, do we have this? Let's, take, let's just take multiple of these guys. No, let's just take one. You are the chosen one, let's go. By the lead, you don't even need the seeds. We're going by the lead. Oh my God, there's an entire like unheard of chicken pot. You know what, we, while we're here, Good. You made you made me miss. Goodbye. Sorry, chicken, but uh, looks like you're gonna have to get wet on this route. We are. Yeah, we're going home. Might as well grab more seeds from the seed bucket from in this farm. Chicken, take a look at this. Is, look at it. Okay, this is where this is where your food comes from. I look at. He can't even see over the wheat. That's awesome. This is where your food comes from. I need you to appreciate that, bud. Uh, you just got to appreciate it. Now, uh, you get out of there, come over here, meet your, uh, meet, meet, this is the other chicken. Chicken one, meet chicken two. I'm not gonna give them names. I'm trying not to get too attached. We're gonna have a little system going. I'm even gonna set this up so that you guys know what's about to happen later on. Boom, and boom. You guys see this? You know what's gonna happen later? I bet you don't. Might as well harvest this wheat while we're waiting for some of those chickens to breed up. Chickens really better appreciate all that I do for them. All right, we now have enough chickens. I, uh, I'm not gonna feel that bad about this. A couple of you guys, come on down. Come on, just, you know, oh my, what are you doing? Where'd you guys go? What just happened? Ah, uh, there you are. Come on, guys. Walk on over, there you go. Just one, that's one of you, that's two of you. Let's get a couple, why not just, you know what? Just a couple more of you. How about all you guys get back up here and at least one of you guys get over into this hole right here, right now. There's a big hole right here. What are you doing, sir? You are not a chicken. Let's go bing and boom. We got that covered up. But you know what? These chickens are chickens. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to strip this wood. They're not going to get anything fancy right now. You guys don't get a fancy build at the moment. I'll give you a fancy chicken coop later, but you guys have to think about what you did. We lost our hardcore world, and uh, I'm blaming it on you guys. You guys, you did it. It's all you guys. And would you look at that? We already have ourselves an egg. This is amazing. And will it make a chicken? It will not. <laughs> this right here is all the chickens deserve at the moment. And I don't, I don't, sir, I don't even know why you decided to hop in here, but you deserve to be in there with the chickens. Um, back inside, I actually was going to make a couple fermented spider eyes because I need to go to the brewing stand because we are going to take the time to make some uh, awkward potions here. If we uh, put a fermented spider eye on in there, we're going to make an awkward potion. Or potion of weakness is what I meant. Sorry, I misspoke. And then we're going to grab some gunpowder here. And man, I am running low on that gunpowder. The mob farm is not making enough gunpowder for exactly what I need. And we put a little bit of gunpowder in there. And this is going to make it a splash potion of weakness. This is actually what we're going to use to throw onto the villagers so that we can get some cheap trades, man. And uh, in order to do that, we might have to purposefully let some of these villagers get attacked by some zombies. So hopefully everything goes A-OK. -okay. And obviously the next part of the trick is to grab some golden apples as well. And we are actually running low, so let's grab a stack of those. Let's grab a bunch of gold right here and make... How many gapples can we make at the moment? Let's just go right here. Boom and bam. We got 25. That's perfect. Now we can actually... You know what? Let's perch up over here on the sugarcane farm. And then we can wait for some zombies to go ahead and spawn up in... You know what? Let's just... Yeah, probably in this little non-lit area. Or maybe over here. There's going to be some zombies. There definitely is. I see you, buddy. Hey, hey, dude, I see you. Why don't you come with me? Come follow me, please. You, sir, you have a job. There is another one, but I don't. I just don't. You have to go. Oh, no, I didn't want to hit you. You know what? That's fine. All right, we'll choose you. You are now the chosen one. And this guy all the way back here is fault. Stop that, dude. For your own good, you need to be gone. All right, my dude, just follow me in here, please. Just make your way in. Oh, God, I feel so bad. This is just, this is incredibly intentional. My dudes are just like, no, please. All right, you stay here. I'm going to go in and, oh, wait. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, wait, follow me back in. I'm going the wrong way now. I'm going to place the door. I'm going to go here. I'm going to close the door. Now they have, now this guy has nothing to do but maybe go after some of these zombie villains. Yep. He sees me now. What I could do is actually just make, make their time a little worse. I'm going to take this out. Take this out. Please don't hit me. Don't hit me guy out here is just he's just like dude no you he's <laughs> this guy is locked in right now he is locked in okay so i will admit something i did accidentally uh i accidentally let the i let them all out it was an accident some of them actually walked over into here i don't know why they all decided to become chickens why you you guys are not chickens i don't know why you guys think you are but you are not i'll break you guys free but only this once only this once chickens you guys can stay and make more chickens thank you very much Coming in from the top now because this is, yeah, I just, I, I messed this up pretty bad. It wasn't, it was not a good mess up, that's for sure. I see you, buddy. Here, here's what I'll do. Can I get, can I get a splash over here? I can. Let's get a little splash over on this guy right here. Uh, you, sir, you're gonna get splashed. Let's see if we can give you a golden apple, too. Oh, it's Shinbaba. I'm so sorry, Shinbaba. You will be revived. 
Let's uh, let's just keep you behind the glass. You can just sit there shivering and shaking for a little bit, and then once you're revived, I'll hop back in. It'll be all a okay. I also need to let's grab a boat. Some of these farmers they escaped. I blo I put some bo grass blocks there, but they're the ones escaped. Uh, here's this guy. Hold up, buddy. What do you? Why are you over here for? No, no. Hold on, buddy. Let me tell you. It's uh it's time to get in this boat right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way and uh, just get you back in as quickly as we can. Now, throughout all of this mess here, I have been actually uh, I've been running out. Been running very low on the gunpowder. We can run back to the mob farm real quick. I don't know. I haven't AFK'd in like a week, and so I don't know exactly how much gunpowder we're going to have here, but let's give it a nice little check. I, I bet there's no... Yeah, we have 16 here. We have 9 right here. So we have 25 gunpowder total left. That's going to give us maybe a stack of the, like, Power 1 rockets, and so... Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to make a creeper farm. It's about time. Ooh, while I was away, I got the zombie doctor achievement. Let's go back. That means everything is A-OK -okay in here. My dude, are you all... Wait, hold on. I don't want you getting out. Are you all good? Shin Baba, you are all good. And everything has been reduced. Look at that. One... Oh my god. One melon for one emerald. That's the trade right there. That's the trade. I'm thinking I want to expand a little bit further this way with the town, so I think the creeper farm, I might, if I can perch up on this tree, I might end up just building the creeper farm right about, oh man, I'm falling, right about here. It doesn't take very many materials, um, you can watch a lot of different YouTube videos on how to make a creeper farm. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a pretty basic one just with the cats, I know there are a lot of people are making videos with uh, creeper farms without cats now, so that's pretty cool, I gotta figure out how to do that, but the way that I, the way that I do it definitely involves some cats. Cat number one coming to follow us. Let's go. And then cat number two is back in here. Yeah, what's up? Cat number two, follow. Let's go. Sit you guys right here, and then we can build. The reason that we're using these is because creepers are afraid of cats for some reason. I don't know what it is. These guys are terrifying. We're going to get this build started here with a nice bing, a nice bang, and a boom and a bop. And don't forget to add the schling, the shloom, and the schlop. We're going to go ahead and put the carpet spaced out just like this so that the spiders don't spawn, and then one of them in the back so that we can get the cats, and you can actually hear them because I have two layers. You can actually break in here. I have bing, bang. We got a cat right there, and if you actually go up here, I'm going to look. Can I see this cat? I can't. Wait, hold on. Can I see this cat? There he is. What's up, cat? going to get this cat moved in right over here and sit you down and put you right over here. We're going to put a trap door ceiling right here on a two block tall high base just so that nothing can spawn except for the creepers. It would be able to look like this. Everything's going to just hop right down in there. So, I mean, it should be okay. Gonna hop right back up and then let's actually get the slabs out here because uh, I think it's time to start slabbing it up. We're just gonna lay slabs randomly all over the ceiling and I need to forget. I almost forgot these. Oh, there we go. Slab it up and uh, that way nothing spawns on here. We don't need anything spawning up here. I'm gonna figure out how to wrap these nice mangrove logs around, but uh, yeah, we'll make this look nice. Gonna base the bottom with a layer of stairs here. I also decided to just add a little bit of more depth to the build, so I'm bringing it out by just a little bit. Obviously, I'll put some torches down here so nothing spawns, but this is just going to be a little random extra portion of the build, just to make it seem like it's a little bit, you know, just a little bit thicker. Actually, now I want these to connect over here, so what I might have to do is actually just start breaking a line of these. It might look a little bit strange at first, but I do have a plan. We'll get this capped off with a 4x4, four four, and then we'll have to just strip the rest of them here. If I can pull out the axe and run this across, and oh, yeah. That looks a lot nicer because it's starting to actually meld itself, like the wood is digging right into the deep slate. This is nice. I actually like this a lot. Probably going to get these corners rounded off too, just to, to make everything look nice. I actually like the, the sleekness of this. This is turning out to be an A-OK -okay build. Actually, I did think of an idea. So if we go over here, we round this off, bring some wood over this way. We could potentially get away with making the edge just a little bit taller like this so it wraps over. I don't know if that's going to look good. It actually might not. You know what? Yeah, that does look pretty strange. I think we might have to just stick with the uh, mangrove ones that connect like this. That, uh, yeah, this just this isn't looking right. About to get a little bit of crisscross going here. No big dealio. Looking pretty sweet. Now, I did raise the side up a little bit more. I might end up raising it by even one more than that because uh, it, it's going to make the side look just a little bit better. Um, having a little bit more height variation instead of all the same like height if it was just all flat all the way across It would look maybe a little strange. I need to take a step back and just look at it Yeah, we got to give it more depth a little bit more height uh, Yeah, a little bit more width on the sides more height on the top We're gonna get some classic decorations up here with the walls and the gates Obviously the fences are coming in too. We got chains and defenses into probably more ch nope no 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 more chains right here And then do we have lanterns? We got lanterns of course. Oh, you know how many lanterns are going on this? A lot. A lot of lanterns. 
Yeah, actually, since we, we might need more lanterns, so I'm gonna put one right here. We'll actually add more room for more lanterns right here. Now, as for the middle, we do have a little bit more simple design here. I'm actually just gonna use a lot of, uh, you know, just the same of what we've been using, like the chains and the fences and the walls, but uh, I'm just gonna stagger them here. So just like this, I'll uh, bring two more chains down. So it's not all on the same level, but uh, it's just, it just makes it kind of easy. We can take this here. Now we don't have to worry about anything spawning kind of in the middle here. And if we actually just do two upside down stairs right there, we can actually place two items right here, like maybe like a stone cutter. Actually going over and putting some azalea bushes here might not be bad. That's gonna be good for some decoration here. Oh my God, and I can actually hear, now you can see the chambers. I hear creepers, let's go. All I did was fly back to the house. Yes, dude, this is great. Well, now you can see it in action. We got the chest right down here. Everything's gonna hop in, wait. Yep, there we go, everything's working, and, uh, oh man, I'm sorry, dude, I'm sorry you had, ooh, yeah, nice, uh, but there is absolutely no roof, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's make one. I always liked using the campfires as a roof, I just, I feel like the, the wood pallet here just, it makes it like a, seem, it just seems like a good solid structure. Then we can get some nice little lanterns over here to make sure nothing's spawning, we can get one right there too, and we got ourselves a nice little entrance. But back to the top to go ahead and whip up a lot more of these azalea bushes. Also, I decided while we're up here to go ahead and let's just build up the middle and kind of just make like a, a little bit of a roof area. We'll give it a good old schling, give it a good old schlang, then give it a schlop, maybe followed by a bing and a boom and possibly a bop. And you got yourself a mighty fine roof. Probably gonna get some trap doors up there and uh, we're gonna de decorate every single side just like this. Uh, it doesn't take too long. A lot of this is, I mean, might feel repetitive, but as, as long as you're using a little bit of different blocks every time, it is A-OK. -okay. Kind of evenly spaced, so we might have to use just one more extra, or two more technically uh, extra trap doors. Whip up all the trap doors here, and then at the top, I actually kind of wanted to make a tiered system here for the chimney. Now, I've never tried this before, but I think this might be interesting if we put a couple of campfires here and there, and we then just wrap it up to make it seem like it's a chimney. Um, I think this might be cool, because then it seems like, you know, there's actually some stuff burning in here, you know, like the creepers. Now, the sides do look a little bit empty, so I did want to do something similar uh, on the sides. We're going to use the oak, we're going to use the chains, we're going to bring the, cha the the lanterns down here, but we're going to leave it up towards the top, because all of the other ones are towards the bottom, so we'll leave it just a little bit staggered here. Also, if we go up, I would like to get a different plant up here, and I think I'm going to go with the cactus, just because it blends in well. I mean, not blends in, it's it just it's a good contrast to the, uh, the mangrove wood. I think the bottom side here, right in, like right on top of these stair blocks, are actually there's gonna be room for another trap door here, and it's gonna add a little bit of texture. And that is, uh, you know what, that's perfect for me right here. Up at the top, decorating. I'm thinking we could probably put a couple of these right here. Maybe get a couple more plants up at the top, and some lanterns over here and over here. Well, actually, no, because. Those could be hanging, but they are not. We take these out right here. Let's load this up. We'll get two more walls. And then, if, yeah, we have more fence gates right here. Bam, that's, uh, you know what? That's not too bad. Actually, that looks great. Hey, you know what? We uh, we made a build over here. I think we did. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, well, we made it. We're doing good. Oh my god, it always rains when I'm trying to- Every time I start recording, it starts raining. I don't- I don't know why, it's- uh. Anyways, I am gonna put up some of these azalea bushes in the corner on these composters, because these- I don't know, they always make the- they, they make everything look nicer. And what would one of our builds be without a bunch more trap doors and oak buttons? Obviously, it is, as is tradition. I almost forgot to actually load up the slabs over on this section over here. That would have, uh, that would have probably caused for an accident. Almost forgot the lanterns at the tippy- oh, almost fell also. Got ourselves some bottom row buttons over here, but they never hurt nobody. Let's get the front area up here bone mealed and looking nice, because we got ourselves, uh, this building over here. This is looking pretty finished, if I do say so myself. To top it off, I kind of want to put a, like, a just a big tree somewhere. I, like, maybe just a, a larger sized oak tree. We could try one right here. Let's just, uh, bone meal this up. That is not a large oak tree. That's, uh, that's not very big. At least I can take solace in knowing that these flowering azaleas look pretty nice in the front yard of this creeper farm, but, uh, damn, you know what, guys? I think that's gonna be it for this episode, man. This is, uh, this was it. We, uh, this was a pretty nice creeper farm. This is probably the most, uh, detailed one for sure that I've ever made. I don't, uh, yeah, there's a lot of lanterns, that's for sure. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for joining the live Twitch streams. I mean, again, that's twitch.tv slash Thanks for joining. I stream every single day. 
Also, thanks to everybody that's joined the Patreon. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the extra support. Hi, everybody. Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 10 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. Guys, I can't believe we're on episode 10 already. This town is huge now. We have added so much stuff here. I'm going to keep breaking my ankles all the way down as uh, I just I just want to show you guys what's up. Maybe I can fly. Nope. I thought I could fly, but I'm not. With all of the live streams on Twitch, by the way, twitch.tv slash waxfraud, feel free to join every day. We stream every single day. But yeah, with all the live streams and all of the time spent in this world, this thing is turning out to be A-OK -okay with me. We are... Yeah, this thing is huge. We have a total of 15 buildings that have been uh, constructed here now, and I, I'll do an official world tour in just a, a little bit. I've, I'm going to wait a couple more episodes. I want a lot more structures here before we do an official world tour, but latest buildings is right here. We did a long play where we did an entire underground build. I hope, hopefully this looks good for you. I wanted to put a little bit of amethyst out here to do just a little, like a smaller version of the coral reef, the custom coral reefs that we've been doing. You actually come over here right down through the sand and then you got a kind of a secret entrance here i kind of wanted to put one thing as a decoration just a little bit of a turtle egg but yeah this is it it's a nice little workbench area you can go on down there's a whole it's like a whole survival base that really that we built in a long play it took us about two hours to build all of this and it's nice and cozy down here you get a little bit of the uh, the the natural terrain and then also you have the uh, the, the nice little uh, ocean out here you can see the ship all the way down here you got the fish floating around looks pretty good to me and i know i did say that i wouldn't do anything like this uh, uh, on this series, but I did. We have ourselves a chicken coop. I I got a little carried away, and I made a cozy home for the chickens. I don't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I could not. I could not hold true to my word. On the last episode, I did say that I would never build a cozy home for the chickens, but I could not bear to look at that terrible looking co uh, chicken coop. So, yeah, we have ourselves a nice looking one right here. This thing fills up very quick. I have like 20 chickens up in there, so. After just doing that long play last night, we already have almost like a third of a chest full with eggs. So that's pretty nice. Now, as you can see, we have, uh, it's, it's kind of terraced here. We have up one, and then we go up here, we have two, and then three blocks high. Yeah, so as you can see, we started kind of grazing up into the jungle area. We haven't been able to take out all these trees yet. What's going on, cow? How you doing? But uh, I bet uh, on a live stream pretty soon, we're going to take down these trees and uh, start making the town up on this hill too. It'll be nice when the town is not only on this one little level here. The chicken coop is a nice start to that though. In the last episode, we did make this creeper farm and I'm pretty excited about it. We have been getting a lot of gunpowder and I mean a lot. I've taken a couple stacks of it here so far. Usually there's a couple creepers that are in here just floating around, but yeah, I came in here earlier and took some, so that's why there's only three there right now, but I'm taking as much as I can. Do appreciate you guys watching that episode. It really does mean a lot. Thank you all for the support, man. Rainbow Mountain is coming along nicely. We did finish one entire color's worth of the uh, the rainbow. We went all the way down from light blue up to dark blue. We're coming gonna, gonna back with the light blue right now and it is, man, this thing is looking fantastic, especially with the complimentary reimagined shaders. I cannot get over this. We have been building this for almost a month now, and we are very far. Like, you can't see really into the distance where it goes each direction. It is deep. It is deep down there, though. I, uh, I think I've said it many times, and I will keep saying it. This is by far my favorite project that I've ever worked on. I love these Rainbow Mountains, man. They are amazing, and I see that one down there. I'm not gonna leave you, dude. And we have been doing our fair share of torch placing. We've gone through stacks upon stacks, and look at how far, look at how deep we are. This, this was, this, I'm a little bit in over my head on this one. Now, if you guys remember, I believe it was back in episode four, we did make a nice little goal list, and it was right down here, right next to the little fishing dock that we did on that long play. I'm gonna go ahead and float on down. Let's not hurt ourselves. What do we got left, man? I know, yeah, we did the sugarcane farm. That thing is absolutely done. What do we got? Underwater base. Did that in a long play. Okay, now I'm just wrecking this. The last thing. Finish interior. Okay, I'm taking this out right now. We can finish the interior. This starter house has turned out to be de definitely my favorite starter house of all time. Minus all of these bees that get stuck. There are currently, I think, eight bees that are stuck on here, and I stopped. I stopped taking them out. They just keep getting restuck. I just breed more bees down here that stay, and then they get stuck up there again, and then they inevitably just disappear off into the ocean. I've caught like five or six bees just trying to float away out of the ocean, but you know what? I just let them be. Let them, you just let a bee be a bee. First floor, though, not too shabby. I think the first floor we can consider done. I haven't really given much thought to anything else in here. I mean, it's, I, I use pretty much every block that I can, especially on the second floor, too. We have the enchantment set up, more storage. We got the stairs that go up and out. We got windows in nice spots. We got our little moving he dragon head over there. Going up to the third floor. This thing is now decorated, too. We have been putting in a lot of interior design work on this series. The only thing is this fourth floor. This thing is a tragedy. 
Um, uh, yeah, this thing is... Oh, gosh. Hold on a second. Wait, nope. All the bings and the booms and the bops can wait. What is... Look at this guy. He's chillin'. I want... How long has this dude been there? How long have you been here, my man? And he, he won't look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Of course, now I can't jump back up on my own house. Gonna waste an elytra right here. Uh, gonna get back here, and then we'll finally deliver the bing and the boom and the bop. Maybe a schling and a schloom and a schlop also. And bam, we have ourselves a nice little home here. Actually, I will I'll take a step back, and uh, we can approach it from here. We actually did all of this on stream again, twitch.tv slash waxfraudman. But yeah, now we're in here. We have a nice little bed, a little nook that we can... Just sleep in, you know, read in if we want to. We have little libraries all over the place. Extra storage here, too. I have empty item frames to add the storage. My interior decoration is all over the place. Some people probably don't like it. It's very messy, and I wanted this attic to be nice and cozy. So the way to get up here is from these stairs. And uh, from the third floor, it's pretty cool. I decided to put the trap doors all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, yeah, we have these extra lecterns up here, too, to put the books of appreciation in. We got uh, anvils, we got ender chests, basically everything that we could need up here is, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't imagine us going up here for anything else other than really storage, but uh, it is what it is. This guy down here, I'm loving this guy. And there are still so many bees. Check this out. I removed them since last episode, and look at they're back. They multiply every time, too. We got one, two, three, four, five. And I know in the comments, every single day I get more comments from you guys saying, dude, you can put strings on them. You can put strings on the campfires. Yeah, yes, I know. I, uh, I don't want to put strings on because then I'll be able to see the strings, and I just don't want to be able to see them in general. But I'm willing to sacrifice the, the bees just chilling here. Uh, on the campfires, kind of just doing nothing at all. Like, get a, get a job, dude. Get over here, go back to go back to doing your thing. Go be a bee. Looking for a spot to put the build at for this episode. I'm thinking maybe next to the sugarcane farm. We do have a lot of dogs over here. <laughs> There's so many dogs, I can't believe this. But then I also see... Okay, spinning guy, what are you doing? The, the iron golems are always spinning about something. But then I'm seeing, thinking right next to... Uh, oh, actually, do we have frogs in here? We do! We got brand new frogs. What's up, little dudes? Actually, if I... Bring this out. They can't jump out of here, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna leave them in here for now, and we're gonna name you guys after uh, some chatters on the stream. What's up with all these animals chilling on the fence posts, man? What are you doing? I think this area right here is actually pretty quality. For, I, I want to do a fisherman's hut, and I want, I want to be able to trade with new fishermen. I have a bunch of string. I have a bunch of coal. Uh, there's a lot of things that I could be trading, and uh, I, it'd be nice to get some cheap campfires from the fishermen as well. Uh, that's something that's always nice. So just some extra cheap trades, uh, probably to put in this little trading hall here. And honestly, I'm trying to get every type of trading hall in this world as well, and that's what we're trying to do. Every type of trading hall, every type of building that, like, neat deserves a function, like, every block that needs a function, probably make a building out of it. And so, for this episode, we are deciding to go with the Fisherman's Hut. Let's just go ahead and take these chocolate bars out and the rest of the nether wart over here. And we got, we basically got to clear out the yard. Sorry, Iron Golem, you're going to have to get pushed that way. We got to, we got to make space for whatever building we're about to go. I think I'm going to do the classic uh, mangrove and oak on a rendition of an older version of a fisherman's hut that i did previously on a long play there's a build that i did and i, I kind of fell in love with it and i want to bring it to this world but with just a different type of wood I'm trying to pull in every type of block here we got oak we got mangrove we have the deep slate as well this is this is my favorite block palette by far if you couldn't tell gobble 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 give me all the flowers on the ground hanging root that's mine right there we also picked up these bees nests right here when we were clearing this up and i you know there's a couple places that we could put them where are my rockets at let's go Let's fly up real quick. There's some bee-less spots, and I know that there's... No, not this. Yeah, actually, let's go this way. If I hop right back in past Farmer Dan's tractor, we can go all the way over here. And actually, this tree. If we had some bees right next to the sugarcane farm, that would be kind of cool. We have zero bees back here. Actually, there we go. And there we go. We got the oak... Wait. We have the oak trapdoors, but this is perfect. We go bam. Now we got another bee. Then by the creeper farm that we made last episode, let's put one on this tree. Let's see for now. Actually, no, no, no. Let's go behind the, yep, right here. This is it. This is exactly what this tree was made for. More bees. Let's go bam. Let's go bam. Let's go bam. Th that was a little late right there, but we got it. And we're gonna fly right on in, take a round trip over here, and land so gracefully. Perfect. We got a lot of land to uh, build on, so that's nice. Probably might build like a little bit of a decorative area behind the building. I doubt we're gonna go this far, because some of it might be going over the water. Obviously, it is a fisherman's hut. So, oh, pop for fish. Hold on. Yep, goodbye. Ouch. 
I think it's about time we got to building though. I'm probably just gonna put my shulker box next to this bed over here. We're probably gonna use the inside as deep slate tiles, as you could tell. A little bit of deep slate bricks here too. And then we're going to probably put the mangrove logs on the outside and use the oak as the decorative stuff on the outside of the mangrove. And we're getting started. Probably build up there. We'll count one, two, three, four, five. And then you know what? We'll just keep on going. Before you know it, you got yourself a nice little structure going. And uh, I'm just gonna probably start off putting the tiles everywhere. I'll, I'll give it some access later on by putting the bricks in here like every other third one or so as I stagger it up but uh, for now just it's gonna be a little bit easier wait I didn't even pick up the uh, puffer fish earlier <laughs> what that was really cruel I didn't <laughs> I didn't even take it anyways I'm gonna build up here probably take this part back about maybe three blocks I would like to put wait wait one two three probably put one of these right here and use that to go over this way. I want to build a big awning that's going to bring over this way, over the dock, and then probably it's a separate dock over this way as well. Starting off with a nice looking T shape here. This is, it's not too bad. We'll have to, we'll see what it looks like when we start bringing it up with a little bit of the bricks and tiles going up here. I always get a little bit excited thinking about giving the villagers like a, a new place to trade from. They, I know I do like the villagers that wander around. I'm always going to have those here, but it always is nice having a place that's like set in stone that I can go to every day to trade because it can get a little difficult, a little frustrating trying to find these uh, villagers every day. I'm going to give it the strippity strip over here and the strippity strip over there and the strippity strip over yonder. Let's do what we usually do, take out the door right here. We can replace this. We'll put an actual door in later, but first we have to make sure that right here is a crafting table because all door entrances are a crafting table. I don't think I've made a single building in the past like two years without the doorways being crafting tables. I seriously do that every single time, but on the inside, I think we're just going to go first with some oak planks in here and uh, actually wait, let's get some slabbage going. We can probably triple the amount or double at least the amount that we're going to make. Okay, so, I mean, this is, this is not what I intended, buddy. I'm gonna make a doorway right here. This is what I, this is what I plan on doing for a little bit, but, I mean, come on, man. Why, why you gotta be up there? Why do these frogs just have to be chilling? Every, this guy's just going in circles. What are you, what is going on here? Give it some more of the strippity strip on over here. Making a nice little doorway here so we can get in and out with ease. I'll probably end up putting a gate right here, though, cause in case any zombies want to come in. And, well, in fact, you know what? We might have to... Get some zombies in there just so that they can become these zombified villagers, get some cheaper trades, but for now, probably the, the gates will do. Actually, let's grab, let's just do that now. Instead of talking about it, let's just go up, let's do it. We're gonna just, yeah, nothing's getting in. I'm gonna choose to just ignore this guy while he just completely, I don't know if he's trying to wreck the build or what, but uh, I'm just gonna ignore him. I'm gonna vibe, I'm gonna chill, I'm just gonna start building the roof. Plan on moving opposite directions with each of these roofs, so this one's gonna probably face towards east and west. That section over there is gonna face towards uh, north and south, but we'll figure out what's going on. Man, I am just, oh, there it is. The once per episode misplacement. That comes literally, oh my god, never mind, two, two in a row. That's gonna happen every time, man. Okay, honestly, I think this guy's causing, he's gonna cause some problems. Let's, uh, okay, yep, he's gonna cause some problems. You, Ta Tanya, you need to get over here. Come on, let's go. Get on down. Yep, get over here. No door yet. Let's pop in. Get over here. Get, stay, just stay on this thing. Hello, so have you come to check out the new build? You are a cleric. You're, you're not going to be living here, but uh, pretty soon I'll have a nice little brewing tower that you can land in too. So just to give it a little bit of variation, I decided to make over here one block taller. I think just going, yeah, just one block taller is going to add, uh, just that, that depth is going to help make the build just seem a lot larger and a lot, uh, I don't know, just give it more character. Ooh, nice. Yeah, the staggering over here is looking pretty decent. I like this a lot. I'm going to keep bringing this back so that the stairs meet with the planks and then the planks meet with the stairs. I'm liking this so much, dude. Ooh, and there's enough room to put some windows over here too. Can probably end up... Hold up, we got one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And this right here will be the window. And I hear some, yep, I was gonna say, I hear a good pal from uh, not that far. He must have just spawned like right below me. Oh my God, more Nautilus shells, drip leaves. Blue ice, I guess I'll take. Okay, not, dude, we, this is, damn, dude, we, we have enough to make two conduits right now. This is absolutely, you know what? We should, we should just stop and make a conduit real quick. I will take these off your hands, sir. Thank you very much. Let's go upstairs. What's up, my iron golem? How you doing? Let's grab a couple of these. I think we just need eight nautilus shells around a heart of the sea to make one. I don't think I've ever made a conduit. I don't, I can't, I can't even use it. I don't have any prismarine or like, I don't have enough prismarine or sea. Ooh, a conduit. There we go. Hold on. How do we even... Oh, does this thing emit light? I don't think it does, actually. Where does this go? It does emit a little bit of light. This is crazy. Actually, if I run outside real quick, I wonder if I put this at, like, the bottom of the ocean down here. 
maybe a little bit away from any light. Actually, there's going to be less light out here. Let's go right away from... Oh, yeah, this thing emits a bunch of light. Hold up. It goes... Ban wow, that's crazy. Hold on. Let's just put it right here. That's gnarly. I like this thing a lot. Hold up. We're going to have to make a bunch more of these. Next episode, let's go ahead. We're going to raid an ocean monument. Probably first thing. We'll go ahead and do that, and then we can use these conduits. Finish up the windows here with a little bit of button action, and the lanterns can get fit right here. Not too shabby. Got the glass up in here. Usually I put a plant in here, but figured, you know what, might as well use the glass this time. You can probably hear some villager action going on because I decided to move some in here. We have some hallways, actually. I'll show you right now. You can open the gates. None of them can really escape. I have these little crevices where they can get in. It took a little bit to get them all in. Pretty easy, though, because uh, you can just shove them through with the water. Also, sorry about my voice. I did lose it a little bit, so it, my voice is a little bit gone. If you're wondering why it sounds a little bit different in the later part of the episode, let's uh, let's just get you out of here, bud. And no, 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 no. Just go that way. Just go that way. You're there, there you go. That's all you have to do. So he's going to go through. He's going to walk this way. He's going to take his fisherman because that's amazing. All right, so take your job. Actually, let's... No, no, no. Wait, I put that in the wrong spot. You can come back here. You can take your job. Come on. Come over this way. Thank you, sir. So the main goal is to just push him into... Yes, exactly right there. So then I can break this. He's going to lose his job temporarily. It's fine. He's unemployed for a little bit. Take a break, bud. Now get your job back if you can. Please take your job back. I'll take this water bucket back. I'll gobble this up right here. And... Okay, took his job. I'm going to take this back now. And we officially have a, uh, a hallway that we don't have to have any lanterns on the floor. Everything can be decorated. I think we can take this one down this hallway too. And we officially have... A completed fisher hut on the inside. Now we just need to decorate the outside for sure. Let's take all the sand, all the dirt out over the water, because that's, uh, yeah, this this doesn't look good. Also started using some of this sand to make the beach just a tad bit larger. At first it was just creeping and crawling right up, kind of like right here, really. I want myself to have just a little bit more space to just, I don't know, be able to do more activities, I guess. There's nothing really that I'm going to do over here. I'm just going to be trading, but in order to make this look a little bit nicer, I need some more room to place some more blocks. Starters, let's uh, let's go ahead and get some missing wooden blocks here. We'll go ahead and strip these. Yeah, that's going to look nice. We'll get these down the sides over here as well. The gates can get popped in too. This is going to look super nice. Then we'll work on getting the chains up here, hooked up to the lanterns, but these are going to hang pretty low. Let's see how this ends up looking. Actually, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now to get the front decorated here, some pretty easy trap door and button action, and then uh, just to fill up the sides here, probably just going to use a bunch of oak fences. Do we have the gates? Oh yeah, we have plenty of gates. I think I accidentally made way too many. I think I have like three stacks now. Um, let's put like an upside down mangrove stair. Gotta light this top one up. Let's see what we can do right here with the gate in the middle. And then finally finish that off with some lanterns. And right here, maybe just put some buttons to finish that one off. Now it's time to just put the pots everywhere we can. We'll just line them up on literally every single window and beside every door. And we're going to put the potted flowering azaleas because I don't know why these are just my favorite. I also do recognize that the bees are getting stuck in all these, but I just continue to put them on all the buildings. Getting the interior decorated, I kind of just want to put some upside down stairs here and there on this side and on this side. Maybe get some potted plants here and there as well, just to make it a little bit more colorful in here. I don't know, you know, just uh, the workplace environment, it, it, it could be a little nicer. Next, we are going to line up the canopy here, or the awning. <laughs> Did I say canopy? Oh man, are we in a jungle? I mean, yes, technically we are in a jungle, but no, this is uh, this is the awning for the fisherman's hut. I'm gonna bring this out maybe five or so, maybe six rows of campfires, so we did a lot of trading to get all these here. And then we'll actually take these out right here. We're gonna actually replace this with a row of campfires as well. Uh, just to make this go out a little bit more here. Uh, bring a little bit more depth to the side of the building as well. This one over here is not looking too bad. I need to, I mean, except for the part that it's on fire. We'll take that out. But I think I'm going to take actually these trapdoors. Can I reach? Let's take these out. These buttons as well. And we're going to actually replace these with our different, like, one layer higher of campfire here. Now that we have everything kind of hooked up on top, it's time to actually just go ahead and start making ourselves a dock on the water so that the actual fishermen have stuff to go out and walk onto. So let's bring this out here in a pretty random order this way. I'm just going to kind of swim back and forth so that they can all be in different directions. And we are going to use mangrove logs as posts, you know, to like tie up the boats and stuff. So we'll go probably one, two, three blocks, and then we'll swim all the way down here and we'll go up with 
all the mangrove blocks. This is going to take a couple of stacks of them, but it is going to make it look nice. Now we just got to work on stripping every single mangrove wood block that we put down here, which is quite a bit. And then actually, do we have any? Yes, we have it with us. We have these spruce trap doors that we're going to use as well, because these always just end up making like the edges look nice. So the villagers can't just walk off if they end up coming out here. Just going to put some lanterns on the edge here and some potted. Uh, I might just put some like uh, maybe blue orchids or alliums, something that'll color it up over here because I have these nice little I've never done this. I always put lanterns on the side or have little fence posts going up and across, but I've never done this little lantern post in the middle i kind of like that it's a little different but two different sides of the dock here so we can have boats come up on either direction it really doesn't matter but i really do enjoy this build the one thing i need to do now is i got to get rid of everything that's over on the side here these frogs up in here they need to they need to find another home because now i just have them tied up over here for nothing i need to take them back to the nether or just make a frog sanctuary in here which is you know what that might be coming pretty soon and actually now that i'm thinking about it we're talking about goals. I could just go over here and make some more goals right now. First things first, we are going to do Frog Sanctuary. I did def definitely did not spell that right. And we're going to do an Apiary or a Bee Sanctuary. I really would like to get a Melon Farm going, as well as a Pumpkin Farm going. And then also the Dog Pen. We need a Dog Pen for the dogs. Do we have so many dogs? We need to finish Rainbow Mountain. And Oh my god, I, can I actually cannot type anything correctly. We also need to beat the Wither to get a Beacon. Then I think it'd be fun to do an archery range as well as a brewing tower, like a brewing potion tower. That is going to be it for those right there. And you know what? That's also going to be it for this episode. Let's go ahead and fly on over right over here. Take a nice quick look at our... Oh yeah, look at this thing. Look at this thing right here. I can't believe it. Let's go over here and land. Yeah, we're going to have to find a nice little new home for these frogs. I think maybe next episode we might move these guys over because we've made a lot of room for the fishermen right here. But, I mean, the frogs don't have a home still. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to take a quick nap. Thank you guys for watching this episode. It means a lot. And thanks for joining on all the live streams. Thank you so much. Seriously, thanks for joining. I do appreciate all the support on both of these platforms. Thanks to everybody who is on the Patreon as well. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, just I can't even thank y'all enough. I appreciate all of the support. It is crazy how much support we have been getting over the past few months. And just just thank you. Endless thanks, guys. Um, I will see you next time. You know, oh my god. I almost committed a crime. I had to run back and grab the blue orchids real quick. We needed this to go right here. If I took a thumbnail on this without putting the blue orchids out on the docks, that would have been, that would have not been cool. And I almost forgot one completely right here all together. Let's go, bam. And now we're done. Guys, I will see you next time for episode 11. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate y'all. Actually, you know what? I think we're, we're almost on day 1500. 1,500 days, man. We are almost there. I can't believe that. Hi everyone, Waxfrod here, and welcome back to episode 11 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are in the underwater tunnel that I had built in the last long play. Now I've got my handy dandy furnace because I've got some sponges on stream. We actually, and by the way, it is twitch.tv slash Waxfrod. Feel free to join us. I stream every single day there on Twitch. Um, oh man, there's actually a couple of trapdoors that I missed here as well, but underwater, that's where we are because uh, I, on stream, we did go get a couple of uh, uh, sponges from an ocean monument, but they only had one sponge room, so I didn't get as many sponges as I would have liked. So uh, now we're just sitting here with a bunch of water still, and I'm actually just not really doing anything because I need to go back in here and actually get rid of these source blocks first before I go back anywhere else. Anyways, my point is I need to go to another ocean monument because, uh, yeah, there's too much water here, and uh, the tunnel needs to go on, and I just need more sponges in general, so it's time to raid an ocean monument. And this thing is extremely long, like, it takes me at least a couple of rockets to get all the way past here. Now, as you can see, we do have uh, a little bit of an entrance issue, and the frog, the frog lights, uh, they look nice, but it's not gonna uh, hide the fact that we don't have an entrance. I've been getting in and out by going using my elytra through that little mini hole right there with the trapdoor, and popping myself out through here. So I'm gonna make a way to get in and out through the house, because I have it going right into the center of my living room there. What's up, B? Now, I have done this a handful of times, and already once on this world on a live stream, like I just mentioned, so we have a bunch of these potions already ready to go. We have the night vision potions, and we have the water breathing potions. I'm only going to bring four of each, because I, I don't think I'll need anything else. As long as I have my sword, I am good to go, and also, I'm going to make sure I grab a bunch of doors. Just, um, you know what, again, I'm going to have too many. I'm going to grab 23 mangrove doors, uh, in case I run out of water breathing, just in case I can't find the elder guardians in time. Uh, at least I have some doors to be able to breathe in. Off we go, though. I think I'm gonna go find one on this direction over this way. I know uh, a little towards spawn uh, from episode one. That's where we found the first one. I'm gonna go back towards the ice spikes area, or just the glaciers 
Pretty sure there's a couple more ocean monuments that we had passed in episode 1 and episode 2 over here. Now, if I remember correctly, there was an ocean monument buried under the ice over here, so I just need to go down and find it. I see guardians. Oh, and there's the temple right there. Literally, oh god, it's just, I have landed way closer than I thought I did, so we're gonna have to find a way in. I'm gonna have to take off my elytra, put on, oh, there's guardians over here too. Oh, it's literally just right here, like I'm on top of it already. Well, we have ourselves a lot of polar bears, so uh, if there's any baby polar bears over here, we have ourselves some danger above the ice as well as below the ice. I am going to put on my chest plate, though. No more elytra for right now. Let's, uh, I mean, let's just go night vision. Let's go water breathing, and uh, let's hop in. Okay, here goes nothing. I just got to make sure I find the entrance, and I think I hopped in on the wrong side, so let's go under... And the entrance has been found. Oh my god, there are so many guardians. This is absolutely insane. I'm just weaving back and forth through every obstacle I can so I can get through here. Oh my god, that was so many. I'm gonna put a door here just because it does block. Not for the breathing purposes, it just blocks those little attacks that they have. But it is time for me to go exploring. Let's, uh, let's go find some elder guardians and smack them down. Found our first sponge room. Let's go. I'm gonna put a door here just in case I need to breathe later. Also, just to let myself know that I've been here already. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get you booped, 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 and booped, and booped. Get booped. Number two, you've been found. Get gone. Be gone. Sorry, sir. Bing, bang, boom, and bop, and bing, and bang. Can I hit this guy sticking through the wall? I cannot. And he's here. He's around the corner, and he's mad. He's around the corner, and he's mad. Get over here, bud. I'm gonna give you a quick bing and a boom and a bop, and I'm gonna keep hiding behind the pillars. That's it, dude. That was all three of them. We Yes, we just got all three. Now we just gotta wait for this mining fatigue to wear off, and then we can go back to the sponge rooms and grab all those. Also, get all these doors out. Maybe get some of these sea lanterns out. Also, actually just kind of clearing out and draining an entire ocean monument. We're probably gonna, probably gonna spend an entire stream doing that, because uh, it's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to get all this nice little prismarine, all the sea lanterns here. If I can go find those little uh, sponge rooms, that would be really nice. Mining fatigue is going away right now. Perfect. Let's grab the sponges. Yes. Okay. We are easily more than doubling our sponge count right now. And we did find another room earlier that I didn't show on recording. So I'm gonna have to go back and find that. Grab a, probably double up our, oh wait, damn, we have 35 wet sponges. We're probably gonna leave here with like 50. And I see a door, which means, yep, another sponge room. Let's go. Let's break all these out. And if you guys didn't know if you use hose on the sponges, it's like insta mine basically. It's kind of like using like the hoe on a hay bale or anything like that. Man, this is nice. We're going to easily have... We have s more than a stack of sponges. Oh my god, this is... I don't think I've ever had that much. I'm honestly having kind of a hard time finding my way out of this. Like, I, I got in... This is a sponge room. Okay. Yeah, I'm all the way back at a sponge room now. So I might just... Oh, wait. Never mind. I might be on my way out. Hold on. This might be it right. And we're in. We're out. We're in. This is great. I'm going to go up and out as quick as I can. I got to get away from these guys because they are just going to try to keep on smacking me with their little attacks here. Okay, we made it out. We're safe and sound. What's up, Sam? And I'm gonna smack you, because I got smacked. Okie dokie, then. Elytra goes on, and rockets are on, too. Let's, uh, can we fly out of here? I think we can. Let's go right here, and then... Let's go right here, and then, boom, we're off. Let's, uh, let's be gone. Actually, wait. I did get the lead. I brought the leads here for a reason, and uh, I actually did forget. We have green frogs over here, and I need to bring those green frogs back. And I didn't bring a boat, so I'm gonna have to go- Oh, a snow fox! That's awesome! I haven't collect- Oh, dude, I haven't run into any of these yet. I'm definitely gonna have to- Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. You can- you just sleep, bud. You just sleep. What I was gonna say is, uh, I didn't bring any wood to- or a, a boat in general, so I'm gonna have to make a boat real quick, put a chest in it, so that the frogs don't get stuck. I'm taking these guys home. Here we are! What's up, little frogs? How you doing? They actually might be tadpoles, because we haven't been here in a while- And they're still tadpoles! Okay, so I guess we just gotta wait for them to be frogs. I didn't realize until right now, but the night vision is wearing off, and it is so bright out here. It's gonna go away and like- yeah, literally right now. Okay, now I feel normal. And the water breathing was on still, too. I didn't even notice. It was just so incredibly bright there for a whole couple minutes. Oh, we have our first frog. I'll, uh, I'm will i going to take all the mangrove wood out as soon as these other tadpoles follow suit. Oh my god, hold on a second. One of these guys... I, how long is this... This guy might not even be from this batch. He might have actually just swam up here right now. Get over here, dude. Um, yeah, I've been watching these tadpoles pretty, like, pretty, pretty well. Like, I, I have not really been keeping them out of my sight. All, three of them in here are good to go now and the rest oh there's goes one now there's three left three more tadpoles that need to change and i i don't know what's going on i don't know how this guy escaped but he did there we go okay so we got one little guy in here and then i think one of them might have escaped when i wasn't yep he's up here i don't know how they do it but they just they spawn and then they hop immediately so let's uh 
get in the boat over here and let's fly away and how many frogs do we have behind us a lot we have a lot of frogs behind us this is awesome i love when this happens and we are finally back i can actually see some of these frogs hopping already they must be excited to see some of the new green friends we got a bunch of white frogs a bunch of orange frogs but we do not have any of the green frogs here yet let's actually just slap them up on can we slap them up right here let's do it okay we have we, we just have way too many frogs this is nuts okay i, I know what we're doing today we're doing a frog sanctuary. I'm pretty sure that actually is up on the goal board. We can go over and double check, but dude, we have so many frogs. We have to do a frog sanctuary. Let's see. It's probably right... Uh, yeah, it's the first one, actually. Okay, let's just get this done. Let's go back. I'm pretty sure we have well over 30 frogs right now. Like, this is... This is too many frogs. Arguably too many frogs. One could say we just... This is... Uh, I mean, yeah, this is... We, we don't need this many, but we have this many. This either calls for a big, big, big frog farm, which we kind of already have like a big, me like a medium-sized one, or and uh, like a, fro a frog sanctuary. So I think we need to do that. We did that on episode two of the previous hardcore series, and uh, I'd actually, oh my god, some of the frogs got loose. Okie dokie, let's get you, you, hold on a second, slap you up right here, and okay, so everybody should be good to go. I'm actually going to get this over here. Oh my god, okay, so this guy got stuck in a boat. Let's grab you slap you up right here as well and okay oh my god oh my god all right we're gonna go bam there we go you see this is way too much trouble the frogs they need a sanctuary so that's what we're doing today first we are gonna go back down into the underwater tunnel though i actually want to sponge it up over here i'd like to get rid of all of the water and then go to i actually right here dig this out probably make a deep slate or stone area like a like a little underwater base um but i i don't know exactly how far the tunnel is going to go this way i just i know that i wanted to reach the island over here and i did now i just need to dry out all these sponges and take out this water this might prove to be a little difficult because we'll take it out and yep all of the sand is going to fall and the water in turn might start dropping in so we might have to use some trapdoors or stuff to make it so the water doesn't come through but these trapdoors can get waterlogged so that might not work as well as we think it's going to uh, and we're actually just going to start messing with the terrain up here this is not good. We might need to use some, like, sandstone on the edge, or just make the glass go in a little bit further, and then put the sand back on top. I'm being a little too impatient here to wait for all, like, stack and a half of these to go. I have 35, which is probably enough. Let's, uh, let's go in here. We can start boom, boom, boom. Let's take this water out over here, over, over here, over here. All the water is gonna be gone. Man, these sponges really put in a lot of work. This is awesome. Go boom, and then we'll go to the top over here, and we'll go boom, and then we'll go to the top, and we will go boom, and then go to the top and go boom. Looking good now that we have all of this taken out. It's ah, uh, now we can just kind of take all this stone out with e ooh, some iron. We can take all the, all of this stone with ease, and man, this is gonna this is gonna feel really nice. I think we're just gonna go back probably about maybe eight, maybe nine blocks or so, and uh, then we'll probably build out the interior with most of these stone bricks and just a little bit of stone here and there, but uh, yes, this is this is gonna be nice. I'll take this iron here too. And decorate, we did. We put a lot. We have the oak fences, spruce fences, dark oak fences. We have cauldrons with the plants on them. We get the ferns with the potted plants. We are looking good here. I didn't know exactly how much light I wanted, and now that I'm actually looking through the uh, the lanterns, I don't know if they might be too much. Of, I also have not used end rods before, so I came back down with the end rods. I'm thinking maybe if I just take these out real quick, the uh, the end rods might actually start to look okay. But I hope you guys like this little entrance area that we made. At uh, I actually made this on stream. I just didn't know. I, I don't know. I've never really made a like a tunnel entrance like decorated as much as like as this one. But the end rods over here are definitely making it look a little bit better. Let's go ahead and put some right here. Put one right here as well. I just want to see. Yeah, that makes it just look. It makes it look a little bit more dreamy. Yeah, this last one here is looking nice. It's like just mini, like one individual chandelier every time. I like this. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this place is looking nice and fancy. Let me know if you like this. If there's anything that you would change, let me know as well. But now we have a way to get all the way over to the other side. Also, if you go up the bubble column, you can run right up into the town. And I actually did not realize I needed to sleep. But we will get up here and boom, we have some frog lights up here. This is just to indicate uh, we're going to go into the frog light lit tunnel. And it looks pretty good from the outside as well. I mean, I tried to hide the fact that terraforming over here, but uh, you know, I mean, it, I thought it, I thought it's looking all right. I'll probably bone meal up the top so it looks like it's overgrown a little bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. But we're done. I'm putting everything away and we have these sponges up here. I can put the sea lanterns up here as well. And I don't even have a spot for the furnaces yet. So all my furnaces can go up here. And I started putting a few things up here. And yeah, this storage up at the very top of the attic that we did last episode is starting to get full. I'm going to put the rails away as well. 
Now, I did actually clear all of this whole area over here out on stream. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm thinking I'm going to take a couple more of these trees out. I'm going to land right on the tippy top over here. Because uh, I would like to make a frog sanctuary. And I want some of it to be over the water. I want to give the frogs a little bit of area to be swimming over here on the water. And I want to mix up some cobblestone with some large glass windows. So it's like a, not like a zoo exhibit necessarily, but so that, I don't know, I want the frogs to feel more free that they're like, so they can have part of the ocean. So I'm probably in a big, uh, big old square right here, probably going out this direction as well. So I'm gonna have to take out some of this shrubbery. Let's use the hoe. Let's take some of this out. I'll probably take out this big tree, a couple of these over here. And um, I think we might level this area out i'm not gonna lie I, I i don't want it to really i don't want the town to be taller than this area so i'm gonna keep flattening this area out right here i've done a lot of this live on twitch streams but uh i mean i don't mind doing a little bit more of this right now honestly i should have done more of this earlier but here we are oops i'm falling Ooh, we have this right here it's the almighty burn i got us these are sacred we got to save them all Oh my god, I swear, I hear a frog jumping around. I'm not kidding. There is a frog that had to have gotten loose. Well, I don't know where it is, because I don't- It's probably a green one, because it might be blending in. Where did it go? All right, I might be going crazy, but I, I swear to god I heard a frog. So, like, one of these days, I, we're probably going to find a stray frog around these parts, but I, I don't know where it went, because I don't hear it anymore, but I did hear it. I promise I heard it. So while we're over here, I wanted to show you guys, we did do a long play of the potato garden, we have the carrot garden, and we also have uh, the beetroots back here, yeah, big and red. I also didn't know that beetroots make red dye. I don't know how, like, no one no one ex ever explained that to me, I don't know. That should have been uh, explained to me a long time ago. But let's go on back over here, we're probably just gonna have to take out this big old tree right now. Head on down and collect us some future sticks to trade. Okay, this is why I brought the shears. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ferns right next to you. That's nuts. This is Fernapalooza, man. Time to plug back in the grass where it needs to go to make this land look nice and flat. All right, I found the frog. I have found this frog, and it's Shinbaba. What are you doing? Come on now, let's go. What are you doing? Get over here. I, uh, I, this, it's actually, it, the frog actually jumped way closer to the other frogs, which is very convenient for me. There's, there's just too many frogs here. This, we need to make this sanctuary, like, right now. Looks to me like there's a floating ghost vine, so we have to go to the very tippy top, and we have to break it. So, let's go up here, let's go right here, right now, and, wait, oops, I accidentally missed it, and now we're going, and we fall. Got another mini one right here. What do you think you're, oh, man, I'm falling again. What do you think you're doing, guy? Why are you being, like, why are you being like this? Actually, I think we're going to go in the uh, shape of a plus sign, which is going to be pretty cool. I think mm, it might be better if we end up going this way a little bit. Just keep walking back, and we'll see what ends up looking good. Keep going down. Now, what I really wanted to happen was if we just, I don't know, take the stone out a little bit more this way. I wanted there to be windows where if we, I don't know, let's make this about three thick on the bottom and three thick on the top sides over here then we can finish this off and actually see that we'll have big windows i kind of wanted three by three windows i might make them a little larger because now they're seeming a little bit small but if we had windows that look just like this we could actually have the frogs in here and then you could look at it from when we're swimming down in the ocean after some deliberation i thought that some single column windows right here would actually be better than uh, the big like three by three windows because that way we can see just large amounts of certain sections of this build from from far away i think it looks kind of nice you can get back here obviously you can't see because the scaffolding and the kelp is in the way uh but once we get this lit up actually we do have some sea pickles but we're probably gonna have to go make some more as far as lighting goes we're gonna get the lanterns up on each of these and you can probably also see that we have the ferns ferns all day every day wanted to go ahead and oops not that but i wanted to go ahead oh my god not that either but i really just wanted to go ahead and put these walls over here followed by the oak fence is going to slap these down and then you probably know what's coming next we're going to just drop these down right here wanted to slap a fern up here and then actually on the side we're going to start using the trap doors just to add a little bit more texture a little bit more color variation to the side and add some color to the lighting variation we are going to add some of these end rods vent not there not there i'm sure i sure i'm messing up a lot right now but Oh my god, there goes another one. The, uh, the end rods, actually, I think they add a nice texture here. Oh my god, I have, I think I've messed up, like, five of them, and there goes it. There it goes, bing and boom and bop, and I think we're done. 
Now, as far as this front side goes, I kind of just wanted to add some of these over here, just the walls kind of on the ground because uh, they're not really big enough to have these end rods hanging down towards the ground. But on the back end, it's looking nice. As you can see, let's actually fly up. I did start putting in a little bit of the mangrove because uh, this is starting to look like a nice beefy build right here. It's looking pretty nice, pretty skeletal at the moment though. I just started putting in some of the mangrove logs for the next level. I've made a bunch of apiaries before, but I have not made an apiary uh, to this scale. That's why I started off with the stone, and then we're going to move to a completely different move right now, which is the wood and the glass. First, I'm actually just going to get a nice little layer of the mangrove, and we're going to go up. On the inside, we're actually going to put a nice little layer of glass. I'm actually just going to bring this up maybe two or three tall. I'll actually, I'll go three tall, and then we'll decide on how actually tall this is going to go, because I'll, I'll have to go up with the mangrove stairs as well. Decorating the first layer of glass right from the strip mangrove log into the stair into the trap door. We'll flip that guy up here, flip this guy up here, and actually I don't think we flipped these up yet, but we will. We'll go into that one, into this one. Probably going to have to go upside down stair, or at least glass right there, um, just so that we can start to put a log up. We'll go up like one, two right there, probably just strip that, actually for sure strip that, not even probably, it definitely needs to be stripped, but we're going to walk through here and go boom, boom, probably get some fences, bing, bang, boom, biddly bop. Now we just need to start kind of towering up one by one with these little glass blocks here. Then I think we're just going to beef up the corners over here with uh, some of these nice little mangrove logs, go ahead and strip these down, and then we're going to place familiar blocks we're gonna go walls on pretty much every time we see a log up here on the roof we're gonna put a log oh uh, sorry a wall into a fence and then probably i don't know if we'll go into an end rod i'm not sure yet that might be too much lighting but for right now it is gonna be kind of like that panda sanctuary where we go on the corners everything is stripped and then we go into a wall and then to a fence that was wrong that was definitely wrong don't don't be doing that that that's in the wrong spot now we can finally get this little flat portion done at the tippy top then we can actually start to decorate the top with uh, the walls, the fences. We're going to put the gates up here as well. This is all going to look uh, mighty fine. Once we're going to put the, uh, the stairs here too. This is exactly what I did on the Panda Sanctuary as well, but I really liked what we did on the roof with the decoration, so I'm going to go back on that same stuff. We have some trap doors that we're going to use here too. I pretty much just covered this area up right here just to make it look like it has a little bit more uh, cover from the sun. And I brought myself some stone brick stairs to be able to come back up here. I think this, I don't know if this is tall enough actually, so let's go ahead and make this go up one more just in case. And we will go ahead, I'm actually just going to make the roof go this way, and I'm not even going to like go up that high, I'm literally just going to use the stairs. Usually I use stair and plank, but right here is literally just going to only be stairs. We'll probably put a lantern up here instead of using an end rod. All right, not looking too shabby. This is definitely a, an odd one, but I do really enjoy this because I, I know the frogs are going to have plenty of room. Actually, just plenty, plenty, plenty of room. Oh, wait, now that I'm flying up, I did realize that I did not put any fences up here. Like my grandpa used to always say, you can never have too many buttons down. I think the one thing that's missing from the tippy top is just a little bit of the potted plant action. And we've already used a lot of ferns, and I mean over a stack of ferns, so I'm going to do the regular azaleas. I think I'm done using the flowering azaleas because every time I use those, a bees, like all the bees just start getting stuck in them. So I'm going to start using the regular azaleas um, just for right now, just to just until maybe that bug gets fixed. I don't know if it's a bug, but for some reason, bees just get stuck like in these potted plants when it's a flowering azalea. So regular azaleas for now, and that's all it has to be. I might actually, you know what? Start using some of these on the side. Like if we go, no, if we just go down like one, two, three, four that's uh you know that's kind of nice and now i can actually fly out here because that little tippy toppy point right there that needs i think it needs a little something on it and you guys know what that is if i can oh and i missed but uh, i'm talking about the cord slabs these slabs are the only thing that i have been using as a flag for a very long time so i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna hop right there and go bam and it's done and now for the interior we have quite a bit of space under here all the end draws look pretty cool up above on the ceiling i like this a lot this is a pretty sleek looking design but yeah now we can i have vines growing on the wall by the way but now we can start to decorate obviously lily pads are going to be going in here because you know frogs live here so why why would we not have lily pad also wanted to come through and actually just place some moss bone meal this out so that we can get some different areas that look just you know just a little bit different probably moss it up right here too and actually that moss is probably going to spread outside but 
I like doing this just because it starts to make the, uh, I don't everything, I mean, we have a lot of jungle grass, it's very bright green, but the, the variability of the, uh, the variation, variability, uh, I'm just choosing the wrong words here, the variation between the different colors of green, it's just, it just makes it look nice, and also we get some free azalea flowers too while we're at it. And I already have the edge lit up with a lot of lanterns, but I am going to go through and kind of just randomly place some of the glow berries just here and there, just to give it a more of an overgrown look. Oh my god, and okay, so these guys just popped up, and I just need to, here's what I'm gonna do. I have a bucket, I'm gonna do this, I need these guys to get just a little bit, uh, these guys need to go away. These guys need to go away, or what I could do is this, I could just make sure that they attack their own captain. Everybody shoot this way at me right here, yeah, that's good. Everybody keep shooting, let's go this way a little bit. Let's shoot one more time, but everybody just aim right at your captain, come on, right here. Nice, keep doing it. Then got hit. Sorry about that, guys. There's, uh, I just don't, I don't know what else you, I don't know what you're gonna be, at. yeah, it's done, it's done, it's done. Thank you very much, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna boop you right there, and then I'm actually just gonna drink my milk to celebrate. While I'm out here, I realized I did need to actually fix the stairway up here. I, uh, actually, let's go ahead, Oop, get out of the way, cow. We'll go over here, boom, boom. We'll get that down there, too, and then probably just get one more slab right here, and that's, uh, that's looking good, right behind the chicken coop. Oh my god, I just found a little straggler. Wait. Is that- is there more than one guy? No, it's just you. That's- yeah, you know what? You're done. You're absolutely done, sir. You may be missed. Now you're done. Next thing I wanted to do was hop in here and get some proper propagules. Some proper propagules going here. So let's go. Do -do 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 -do. Can we get a nice little mangrove tree growing? It's not gonna go right there. Maybe one near the water, actually? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so... Dang. Alright, I love- this is- ah, yes, right in the middle. Let's see if we can get at least one more. These, uh, mangrove, or these, yeah, these mangrove trees really just, they go well. They make it look really swampy in here. Ooh, okay, so that's the second. Ooh, these are perfect. They go, like, right in. Yes, all right, so it's about time to move the frogs in. I'm probably going to, yeah, I have the sunflowers, the peonies, the lilacs, and the rose bushes. I'm going to plant a bunch of these in here. We need to just get a lot of color. Now for a little bit of extra color, we're just going to put some pumpkins around here. Just, uh, you know, just here and there. It's not, Halloween's over, but you can never, it's never too late for some pumpkins. Also going to hop on the other side, and we're going to put some melons in here. The frogs deserve all of the color possible, and you know what? And uh, with, with a little bit more, actually, let's put some melon right there. A little bit more color comes uh, a little bit of oxidaisy, a little bit of tulip action. So we're going to slap some oxidaisies all over. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like the frogs are just going to love oxidaisies, and they're going to love orange tulips. And let's see if we can maybe get an azalea tree going right here, and we can. This is perfect. Okay, so I feel like the frogs have plenty of space to jump around in here. Now we got a couple things here to finish this off. We got to get some corn flowers in here just because, you know, I, I, we need some blue. We don't have anything blue in here. And what is a, a swamp without an orchid? <laughs> Literally the last orchid that I have. I have to go back to the swamp to get more because we were fresh out of orchids. I wanted to get some amethyst clusters around. I don't know. I, I think they look cool and they brighten up the place. They bring a little bit of shimmer around and... I don't know, just, I think almost anything looks just much nicer with a little bit of amethyst. To bring a little bit of extra light out up here, I wanted to get some verdant lights uh, from the frog light farm and uh, put a little bit of flowering azalea bushes on top of them, and uh, that way we don't have anything spawning in here at all. I'm just going to start putting these in a little bit of random corners here, and that's going to prevent any mobs from spawning. I think it's time to start taking some of these guys home. Let's, uh, oh my god, this is, this is going to be a little rough. Let's, uh, okay, let's take it all. Oh god. So many leads, so many leads. Okay, we gotta start picking them all back up. They're gonna start just jumping everywhere. Little, okay, he's gonna try to escape. Let's pick you up. Let's pick all these guys up and just move as quickly as we can. All right, frogs, come on. Let's get you in here. All right, everybody, single file now. Let's go, get through. I can't get you through the glass. I gotta get you through the door single file one by one. Let's go, guys, come on. Let's go. Single file now, everybody. Single file. The next group needs to get in here. Come on now, let's go. Oh my god, the frogs are just jumping up. What am I holding on to? Where are these strings even going? My guy's out here using the lily pad already. This is awesome. The one the last thing I wanted to do to actually make this place look a lot better was kind of... I'm probably going to come down here and bone meal a lot of this, but I wanted to come down here and give the frogs and the tadpoles a little bit of air. Like when they're swimming around, I just wanted to look nice, nice and beautiful gonna hop in and bone meal up just a little bit we all we need to do is just have a little bit more grass down here that's all the frogs ever wanted just a little bit of grass a little bit of grass never hurt nobody we'll go over here just keep on bone mealing just keep on bone mealing and i'll probably just get up here and put the last guy right there so that we have some grass towards the top and we are all good we got so many frogs in here we have green frogs white I, I, it'd be you know what would be great if Minecraft actually added more colors of uh, frogs, that'd be amazing. If we had red frogs, like, you know, like, like rainbow, like 
tree frogs in the jungle like in real life there's so many different colored frogs in real life and i wonder when they're gonna add those but anyways guys that is gonna be it thank you so much for watching episode 11 i really do appreciate it thank you so much for joining on the live streams again that is twitch.tv slash wax fraud thanks for joining the patreon if you did i really do appreciate everybody whose names come at the end of the episode that's just all the patrons so thanks again guys i really do appreciate you and thanks to everybody who joined the discord appreciate y'all man we have like 8500 people in the discord right now it's it is growing very large appreciate y'all man so much this frog sanctuary was one of the most fun builds that i have in this world right now and man this world is probably the most eh, probably yeah my, my favorite minecraft world that i've ever worked on so far so this is great man this is awesome what a, what a great addition i'll see you guys uh, in a couple days man for episode 12 thank you guys for watching hi everyone wax fraud here and welcome back to episode 12 of the hardcore minecraft let's play series man let's get into it we have a lot of stuff to do today and First things first, I was thinking, I was actually just thinking about stuff that we haven't done yet. I'm going to take a look at the frogs and see how they're doing. I haven't seen them in a couple of days. This is what we did on the last episode here. By the way, worked on this a lot on stream. It's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Come by anytime we do stream every single day. But yeah, we ended up getting uh, the rest of the decoration done in here on stream. I always, I always come back with a lot of like ideas that I didn't think of during the video and while I'm live, I always shoot the ideas back and forth with chat, and it's it's always beneficial. Frogs really seem to be liking this place, though. We have a lot of frogs in here. And it's just it's just nice and cozy. I love having these nice and cozy builds. And I love having a purpose for all the animals. It's just have, having a home for all of them, it just makes this world feel nice and home-like for everybody. But thinking about the things that we haven't done yet, I mean, we have a giant mob farm right here. We have a panda sanctuary right here. We have a giant tunnel made out of frog lights that leads to our frog light farm. We have like 50 frogs here too. It's, it's, it's absolutely nuts. We have so many frogs in this world. And a whole frog light farm set up, man. I mean, we have. how do we have this done? And have an underwater tunnel, a secret underwater tunnel that is, that goes all the way to the other side of the pond. But uh, one thing that we do not have is a beacon. And I'm staring at a one wither skull. I'm staring at a two wither skeleton skull. Staring at a, that's a, that's three wither skeleton skulls, dude. Let's. Uh, I think we need to get a beacon right here, right now. Give me my soul sand. I need this for the wither. And let's uh, let's grab some eggs because uh, we need some wither roses. And this time the chickens are not going to cause the death. We're going. We're going to be chill about it. We're just. We're going to be chill. Now on the last series, you might remember that uh, I got a little bit too close to the explosion, and uh, when the wither spawned in, I, I exploded. So uh, that that ended the series. So that's not going to happen in this series. We're we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. I have the totem in my hand, and I also have two totems with me that I'm going to put in my hot bar just in case anything goes wrong. Because I don't know what happened last time. I've never died to the wither before until that last hardcore series, but uh, I died to just the explosion. Pretty sure this will be nice, quick, and easy. All we have to do is shoot it with the arrow until it's at half health, and then smack it with the sword a couple times, and it's all good. Now it's time to get all these chickens in here. Hopefully we get a bunch of wither roses. Your sacrifice is all in good name. Thank you, chickens. We do appreciate it. All right, well, here goes nothing. I'm going to do this. Bada bing, bada boom, and bam. Let's back far away this time, and then we will start fighting the wither. This guy is going to blow any second. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. His explosion got me from all the way back here somehow. I'm going to keep shooting. I'm going to keep shooting. I'm going to keep shooting. I'm just going to keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Oh god, he's extra mad. Just get him with the sword, just get him with the sword. Just get him with the sword. Just get him with the sword. Ah, three, two, three, two, one. He's done. The Nether Star. It awaits. Dude, that was insane. These guys are always just, always so intense. Well, hey, guess what? Uh, we did that without dying, dude. Not, uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's grab the Wither Roses. And we only got two? Wait, we only got two Wither Roses from that? Where'd the rest of them go? Grab me some diamonds, too, while we're at it. Might as well. Let's make a quick beacon right here, and boom. Setting this up on a little field right behind town here. I haven't started uh, building really anywhere on this part of town yet, but soon we will. I'm going to flatten this area out. I was doing this a little bit on stream, taking a while, and that's kind of what inspired me to get. go ahead and get this beacon. The beacon. It is going. Let's go. Okay, so let's, uh, let's load you up in here. Let's get a little bit of haste to going. Ah, uh, yes. Haste 2. Put it on me. Alright, let's go. What does it do? It does everything. This is amazing. Ah, uh, why did we wait so long? I don't know, man. We're on day... What, what day are we on? 1,684. Oh, man. Almost day 1,700. Now we're getting a beacon. That is, uh... 
Oh boy. Well, at least we got one. Better late than never. So over here is looking pretty flat. I'm gonna get it ready to probably take out a bunch of these oak trees, and uh, we can probably build something over here now. We have a nice landscaped area. Finally, this area has been totally unusable for the past 11 episodes, but now we got something going on over there. And now that we're flying over here, I moved the beacon. We have uh, the other landscaping project up right behind the frog sanctuary and the terraced farms. There's actually, after I took out all these trees, an exposed cave down here. Now this might be connected to the other little ravine. If you take a little right here, I think it, oh, okay, never mind. This is actually a way bigger cave than I originally thought. And there are creepers just chilling right there. I heard a creeper fall just right below me right there. I'm gonna go back down in though. Let's take a little look this way. Actually, it looks like everywhere is pretty much infested with mobs. Not really so much, it's just like a tiny little hole down there. Honestly, considering just kind of plugging this hole, I don't really think I'm gonna need that for anything. We could build something down there, I guess. We could build like a nice stairway. Well, you know what? Let's not fill it up completely. Maybe make it more of a circular hole, but um, we'll find a use for this eventually. I won't plug it up. And I honestly just, I'm, I'm just so baffled it took me so long to get this. It's just, it's mind-bottling how quickly you can gather so much stone. Now, I think we've picked up at least like four barrels worth of stone here, which is not too bad. And before you know it, this entire place has been landscaped. Now we just need to bone meal. Oh my god! Oh, damn, dude, why do these guys keep popping up? You guys know what's gonna happen. You already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make you kill your captain. I'm going to jump around in circles until you kill your own captain. Oh, you guys better not shoot my dog. Hold up. Shoot, shoot, shoot your captain, please. I just gotta go over here. The captain, for some reason, is in the middle. Now the captain is in the front. This is what we want. And the captain has gone down. That is all it takes. Now, all these dudes, are you gonna keep- This is gonna keep shooting each other. This is amazing. Come on, guys. Yep, take each other out. Sleep. You know what? You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. There you go. And the pup lives. This is amazing. A couple arrows almost hit the pup. That would have been- That would have been not good. I mean, it wasn't good for them either way. Coming up back to the frog sanctuary. Gonna land right on the flag. Ouch. But, uh, yeah, looking nice and flat over here. This is great. That little hole- I'm gonna build something in there. I'm not sure what that. Uh, we're gonna put a port over here, I'm pretty sure, eventually. A nice big castle. And actually something. Oh, man, this is so nice now that this is a big flat area. I can't wait to put a build here, man. But yeah, now that we have that done, there is something else I wanted to show you. We have the beacon moved over here for a reason. Oh my god, all these dog All the iron golems have just moved into the dog pile, and they're just spreading the dog. There's a dog all the way up into the building. We honestly, yes, we, we have too many dogs. We, we need to do something about the dogs, and that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make a dog sanctuary. It's just, it just needs to happen. But walking over here, I'm gonna show you the brand new build. Actually, you know what? Let's take a nap first. And then we will go right down here. No one has made it down here yet. I still need to get the villagers down here, but we have an underground library. This was done in long play. I'm sure if you guys watched it, thank you for watching it. I appreciate you for checking out the long plays. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a bunch of villagers move down in here. I have 24 spots available for a bunch of different types of trades. I'm going to get them all down in here. I already have three villagers that are librarians that I just need to move down here, and then I'll probably end up moving about 20 more of them down here so that we can get a full library. But this place is nice and cozy. I like the moss roof, the, uh, the checkered patterned oak and spruce on the floors, as well as the shroom lights for an abundance of lighting. And as far as the dog sanctuary goes, ah, uh, let's, I almost barely made it out of there. Let's pick a spot. I did, I mean, we have a nice new spot back here. I could take out these oak trees right here, and it's raining. Of course it's raining. It always rains when I try to record. Maybe building a nice little dog sanctuary over here next to Daniel and Daniel's friend. What's up, Daniel? What's up, Daniel's friend? How you guys doing? It's been a while since I said what's up. I think if we kind of just took down some of these trees, flattened this land out, we might be able to get something cool. Probably on the beach over here. Actually, you know what? I think that is what I'm gonna do. I actually let's just let's clear this land out, at least make it an, an option. Oh my god, we have one beehive right here that I'm taking out, and then actually right here we have another beehive. I wonder how many beehives we have right here. This build's gonna be a little bit different. I know I do want I'm probably just gonna start right here just to maybe get a nice little layout of what I want the square to be. It's gonna be more of a square. Probably like more of a plus sign. I kind of like the plus sign design on a lot of the builds that we've been doing lately. Except this time, I think what I'm going to do is kind of pillar up on a couple of these. We'll go up uh, just by... I'm not even sure how tall this is going to be, but just for now, we'll go up by about nine. And space it up by about three each. And I don't even know if we'll keep these. We'll take these out. I just wanted to have some pillars. So one, two, three, and then pillar up. One, two, three, pillar up. Honestly, most of the building for this build is going to be done on stream, so if you want to, again, it's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Feel free to join us anytime. 
I know a lot of people do request that the like the replay mod gets used on this channel, but I, I really do just enjoy being live with chat and building um, a lot more than just kind of doing the the replay of of me building the whole thing back. And I take too long to build all these anyway, so you wouldn't want to watch my replay mod. We're gonna line the edges up with a little bit of flowering azalea bushes. And what's one of the builds here on this world without the chain into the lantern action coming out of the wall from the fence? Ah, oh, man. We, got it. we have to use this on every build. You guys know that. I have some end rods here as well, and I kind of wanted to use them just because, you know, like, since we have them, we've popped a lot of the coarse fruit, and we've got a lot of blaze rods, so we might as well use the resources that we have while we have them. Let's go ahead and put some end rods right here. I kind of like that. Ever since we put them on the frog sanctuary in the last episode, feel free to check that out if you haven't. Uh, but ever since we put them on there, I've been really liking the combo of a little bit of lantern action, a little bit of end rod action here. I'm going to do this in the entrance as well. Probably going to do this also just because if we did the wall into the fence, into the chain, into the lantern action, probably wouldn't be able to walk through here. And actually, as you can see, we put an oak and spruce checkered floor just like we did with the library underground there. And we haven't used, we haven't moved these beehives yet, but we will. It is pretty well lit in the center room here, but I did want to go ahead and see if we could try to get the middle up here lit up as well. I don't know if this is going to end up working out. We could try the chains into the lanterns. Um, we could, yeah, I mean, we could have the end rods going down, or actually, I do have an idea. We could get some shroom lights, pack some of these up into the inventory. Let's actually go to the middle. We could actually use this as a centerpiece to go up. Not a terrible idea because then we have the center completely lit. We don't ever have to worry about that. We can go up here if I can. Oh, we did it. Nice. Going back down though. What does that look like? Honestly, that looks pretty cool. I'm I'm willing to just take the rest of what we have here out. Now, as you can see, we do have a second floor. It's pretty much the same as the bottom floor, except we are going to be using the uh, chain into the fence, into the wall uh, with the end rods on this, just because uh, I mean, we don't have to worry about running into them as much as the first floor. We're not going to be up here as much. Thought it'd be a little bit different as well. Plus, we're just going to put stuff right here. The same thing that we did on the first floor with uh, the lanterns here we're gonna put the chain oh my god uh, that was a, a completely that was just that's not where the chain needs to go uh but it's gonna be there for right now because i can't reach that now if i can jump over on the scaffolding here i don't know what is gonna go on the tippy top here i might have to uh think about this i might just build like a big dome in the middle go in a circle or we build up oops, that was an accident or we keep building up with the shroom light here and uh we can build the tower up a little bit taller with a nice little pyramidal roof or at least just like a, a roof that looks like the roofs that we've been building oh my god these pandas i actually completely forgot about these guys they actually are exposing themselves right now i brought them back to the village back in like episode five or six i brought them all the way back I lured them all the way back, and now they are... Oh, that that building looks kind of nice from all the way back here. It's very different, very dark compared to the other very mangrove builds. But these pandas here, man, they are... There's there's like five or six of them back here, and they have just made them themselves like at home all the way back here. Speaking of pandas, I feel like we got to go say what's up to John and the Panda Sanctuary. It's been a couple episodes. Let's go say what up to our buddy real quick. John, where are you at? My dude. Hey, what's up, dude? You, are you friends with John? Because uh, you're in the way for sure if that's what, if that's what you are. John, my guy, right front and center. What is up, my dude? How you been? Let's get, you know what? Let's get you some bamboo. Chop that down for it. Yep, eat up, dude. Scrum diddly umptious. Back to the build, though. And oh, wait, actually, I didn't. Uh, I see right here. I didn't put any of these gates right here. So let's go ahead and put these in. That's actually hump adding a little bit of extra detail to the side. So it's not too much deep slate. But jumping back on the sky. Oh, ouch, dude. Jumping back on the scaffolding, though, we're going to go to the tippy top. Start the build. I think I wanted to go more of a square instead of a dome, so I'm going to hop over here. Actually, now that I see this chain, let's take this chain needs to go, man. But the chain is 100% gone. I kind of want to, like, this doesn't have to be a lighthouse, but it could be something that, like, represents a lighthouse. Um, let's just 100% get a shape going so that we know at least what we're doing. Ended up going with sort of a more circular design up here on the top. We're going to just close this off with a little bit of deep slate. Go ahead and make a circular roof as well as add the spruce fences and the chains to the sides here to kind of put in a little bit of accent on the walls. Going to try building up with a little bit of spruce on the wood here, but we're going to outline it with a little bit of deep slate just in case. I would like this to, I don't know, I, I, think, I think the outline with the, with the darker materials just, I don't know, makes it pop a little bit more stairs at the top and a couple trap doors at the top we'll go down we'll decorate with a couple more trap doors here and then obviously we're going to put more stairs roofs actually they, they turn out to be a little bit easier than you think 
Um, just don't overthink it. Just put, decorate it with a couple trapdoors, with a couple stairs, and you're kind of you're good to go. And bada bing, bada boom. Let's take a flight out. I just want to see what the roof looks like real quick from out yonder. And I, you know what? That's not that bad. I like it. A little bit different from the other roofs, but it also keeps that same style. I'm obviously going to put a flag on top, but that's going to come a little bit later. I have the bone meal out right now because these bees, once they go away, I think they actually just did go away as soon as I got back out here. We'll take that right now. We'll go in here. We'll take that one out too. I actually just wanted the bone meal up in here and just make it nice and cozy for the dogs before they moved in. Oh, whoa, the bees are right. The bees are... Oh, man, this guy is still out. That is uh, not good. Let's let's get, his, uh, let's get his beehive back up. The bee! Dude, he flew so far. I just have to... Alright, I'll get a tree up over here. I'm pretty sure there's a birch tree in here. We'll just get the bee's nest right here. That's gonna be A-OK. -okay. And for right now, I'm just gonna put this one back right here. Please come back, dude. Just come back. <laughs> Let's pretty this place up with some flowers. We got the rose bushes. We got the peonies. We got the lilacs. We got everything we need. Uh, before the dogs move, can move in, I just wanna, you know, wanted to make this look nice. I actually forgot that while we were landscaping everything all the way over there with the uh, the new beacon, I ended up getting a bunch of coal. And I need to mend this shovel because we ended up getting a lot of glass. Not only because we were running out of glass to do stuff like this, but to f like the underwater tunnel took up a lot of glass. The nether highway took up basically the rest of our glass on stream. And uh, But we have a lot of this coal right here to help the mending of the shovel, luckily. Looks absolutely gorgeous from up here. This town is growing so much. I Man, I'm loving this. And in case anyone's... Oh, this guy's beaten up. But in case anyone's wondering, the reason why my voice has just gone a little bit is I, I am a little bit sick. Uh, nothing too much to worry about, but... Oh, oops, that was an accident. Nothing too bad. Like, nothing too much to worry about, but... Yeah, my voice is gone a little bit. I am trying to muster through it. I'm trying to uh, get my voice to recover a little bit before recording but unfortunately this is the best my voice could get before recording the last part of the episode but uh, I hope it's not too much of a distraction probably not as much of a distraction as all of these dogs barking I, why, why did I have why do I have so many dogs I, I don't know I don't know why but uh, we do so we have to house them all got all my doggos on the beacon here but uh, we do have one lone doggo all the way out here let's go ahead and pick you up too and be on our way, bud. We gotta get out of here. We gotta take you guys home. There are so many, so many dogs following me through this town. This is, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. All right, you guys are home. Let's, uh, let's start sitting these buds down in here and let's, you know what? Let's go upstairs too. Let's get some puppies in the second floor. Oh God, I'm falling. This is hectic. This is way too hectic. Let's go upstairs to the second floor. Maybe even the third floor. Some puppies can hang out. Let's get up here, guys. Where are the puppies at? Oh God, I can hear puppies falling. This is bad. Puppies sit down. Puppy sit down, puppy sit down. I'm on the third floor here, waiting for some puppies to go. Oh, we got a puppy. Come on, guys. Get up on the third floor here. Just waiting for a couple of... Yes, let's go. We got third floor puppies. I can still hear puppies falling, but it's all in the good name of the third floor puppies. Now that we got all of the dogs in place, we got all the composters with the bushes here. Everything's looking nice and fancy. I think the one last thing we needed to do was go ahead and actually start planting some trees around. It's so barren. It's barren everywhere around this field. There is nothing here. I took all the trees out. We took everything out, and two times, maybe five times over. It was a lot. We took out trees so many different times. On stream, we have been over here and gotten so much wood. Get a birch tree going right here, or we can run over this way. We can get a birch tree going right here, and then run over this way. We can get a big old jungle tree going right here. That's a good one. Run over this way, get another big old jungle tree going. This is good. Bone meal the ground. We are all good, and we are all A-OK. -okay. Actually, wait, let's get rid of this creeper grass, and then we're all A-OK. -okay. And I am loving this build, especially with the new jungle in the background, but... One last thing that I was noticing is that the, the texture, it's a little off. I'm going to start taking a couple of these out, maybe moving this here, maybe moving one down here. We're just going to replace it with the deep slate bricks. I've used all deep slate tile bricks on this, and I didn't really realize that I didn't do much texturing at all. So we're just going to come in here, replace a couple of these with the bricks every now and then, and it'll just, it'll add a lot more depth and a lot more texture to the build. That is going to be it though today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. The Dog Sanctuary is fantastic. I am so happy the dogs have a place to live now. It, it was fun. It's fun building all these on the streams with you guys. Again, thanks for coming to the streams. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for joining the Patreon if you did. Thanks for joining the Discord if you did as well. We have a huge community growing in the Discord right now, so feel free to join. All, the lo all of those links are down below. Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 13 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are out here chilling in the auto sheep shearing wool farm, mainly because we built a second floor, and we did all of this on stream, by the way, that is twitch.tv slash Wax Fraud. Feel free to join any time. The second floor here is just as efficient as the first floor, and we even have a third floor that goes down that we started building live on stream, but we don't have the sheep down here yet, but we will pretty soon. Got some shoulder boxes with the supplies, and uh, yeah, we just gotta get some of the stairs back in here, get the sheep moved in here, and the 
obviously we gotta get the sheep colored up before they get in here. I made the mistake of last time when we did a long play video, I first, in like the first 15 minutes, oh, there I go falling. In about the first 15 minutes, I went down here and tried to dye some of the sheep, and it's just, it's a pain, as you can see from the video, but uh, we will not do that again. By the way, thank you guys for watching episode 12. Last episode, we built this nice little dog sanctuary for all the wolves. We have like 100 of them here on the first, second, and third floors, and uh, yeah, there's, we have way too many dogs. Good thing they have a home now, but all of that rainbow wool that we had been making down in that rainbow sheep sharing wool farm is uh, because of the Rainbow Mountain, and this project is getting big. As you can see right here, we are going up very high. On stream, uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of the busy work, as, as uh, we usually do, but we're going here, and this little tunnel has been made. Uh, the raid farm has definitely been messed with because we cannot use the raid farm right here without uh, anything spawning on this side of the rainbow. So, yeah, unfortunately, this little rain farm, we're going to not be able to use it until we start putting carpets everywhere so nothing can spawn over here. But, yeah, this thing is starting to get massive, and we're not even close to getting as tall as it could be because, look, the whole desert, it is huge. We have a very large desert to cover, and, man, do we have a lot of work. Like, oh, man, we got a lot of work to do. Land back home. We are gonna land right at this gold post over here, and, and this man over here does not even have a job. What's what's going on? Where's your job, dude? What do you? Oh, now he has a job. Anyways, going over to the gold post. We have over here the, the beacon. We definitely got a beacon, and we also the dog pen. We definitely got the dog pen. Now what else? Finish Rainbow Mountain. Definitely have not done that yet. That is uh, that's a work in progress. Archery range. That sounds cool, but. Brewing Potion Tower, um, let's, I don't know, Apiary for the bees. Honestly, I'm thinking Melon and Pumpkin Farm. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I've never made one before, and believe it or not, in like the 10 years of playing Minecraft, I have never made a pumpkin or melon farm. I just collect them with Silk Touch always and just bring them home. And so I'm, uh, maybe it's just laziness or I just haven't been interested, but yeah, I mean, maybe now's the time. Pretty soon, I kind of want to make a farm so that I can make some end rods over here, because, I mean, this is, I like going up here and farming these out. Making end rods is fun. You can take these out with the bow and arrows as well. They just go bippity bop right there. And uh, taking out these purple trees or whatever type of chorus fruit trees or whatever you want to call them, um, they definitely, I don't know, they're the, one of the more fun things to harvest. Definitely super relaxing, but we got to get a more dedicated farm for these pretty soon. I think that might be one of the things that I'm about to put up on the goal board. But before we actually go ahead and make our melon and pumpkin farm, I'm going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a while. We're going to put on our fancy pants and uh, we're going to go in. I actually have uh, something to show you as well. We went through and we did a long play uh, recently. And by the way, thank you for watching if you did. It's just a couple uh, episodes ago, I believe. And by the way, thanks for watching if you did. I appreciate you guys for watching the long plays. We went ahead and uh, we just uh, we tunneled out on all of these. We have the acacia boat right here. We have a crimson boat over here, a dark oak boat, and a regular boat. And oh no, not a crimson boat. We, you can't make those. I meant to say mangrove. Honestly, why? I wish we could make nether boats. Why can't you make a crimson or like a, a warped fung like warped fungus boat? Like, why can't you do that? But now we can take this all different directions, and I'm gonna go here, and there we go. We made our own little stop over towards the bastion right here. I'm not gonna get as close as probably I should, and oh yeah, we'll just stop right here. I'm gonna take it easy. I definitely don't want to die, but I want to get every achievement in this game, and I'm pretty sure there's a hidden achievement where I don't even know if it's hidden, but I'm pretty sure there's an achievement where you can go ahead and if you kill every mob in the game, uh, then you get that achievement. So I'm gonna try to kill a piglin brute because I have killed a piglin before, but definitely not a piglin brute. So what I'm gonna do is probably get rid of some of this blackstone. Honestly, like excavating this whole thing might be kind of nice for taking out. I would like to get a lot of different types of blackstone, and this would be the way to do it. None of them are going to go out. Ooh, there's a chest right there. But none of them are going to go after me except for the piglin brutes unless I start opening chests or if I start digging out some gold. The gilded blackstone is a really nice block that I kind of want as well, and I really got to watch out for these hoglins. Give me some of this gilded blackstone. Nice. This will be nice for decoration. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it on yet, but I will use it. This cracked blackstone looks so nice, though. I can't wait to use this. Sorry, hoglin, but you got to go, dude. You got to go right now. There are just way too many hoglins in here. Oh my, oh, he jumped right into that. I'll take some pork chops, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and then it might make some people mad, so I might run over here. Where is, where, where is everybody? I see two piglins right there. If I shoot one of them, there's, they're probably gonna get mad. Let's, let's pull the brutes out. Let's pull the brutes out. Oh man, that killed him. I think every piglin and like piglin brute, I think literally, I think maybe all of them spawned back here. Like they're all right there. Maybe except for this one guy. Oh, never mind. He's been alerted. They've all been alerted. Oh, you've been alerted? You've been alerted, bud. Gotcha, bud. I'm sorry about it. 
All right, well, here goes nothing. Let's go see if we can get a chest real quick right here. I really hope... Oh, God. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, a bunch of gold, a bunch of gilded blackstone. Let's go, dude. And we still got a lot of these guys back here freaking out. There's... I swear, they're only back here. Sorry, little man. Well, I done found me a piglin brute. It's kind of not really a fair fight because it looks like he's stuck down there, but I'm going to go ahead and just do that right at him, and then I'm going to do that right at him again. And, oh, God. Maybe I'll do that right one more time. And now he's done. Oh, and what do you know? Another brute literally right there, right here. They're just, oh, wait, I almost, I couldn't shoot him. So I want that gilded blackstone and I want that chest. And uh, this guy's got to go, man. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. And uh, sorry about it. Was it worth it? Let's see. And yeah, dude, netherite scrap. For sure it was worth it. Got to get rid of some stuff, though. What do I not need? Let's get rid of the string. Let's get the netherite scrap in here. I am most definitely going to come back here on stream and come here. Oh, God, those hoglins are... Oh, God, let's get out of here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to come back here on stream. It was fun, and I want to excavate the whole thing. I like that cracked blackstone, and I want to use a lot more of it on some builds. Blackstone is actually something that we don't have a lot of yet, but uh, uh, we're going to go back and park our boat right about here on the barrel, and good, we're going to go back home. Lap the pants up right there, go out the door, and we're... Oh, my God, it's raining. And what is... Dude... Okay, why does this keep happening? There are villi- why? This has happened too many- why? One guy over here, there's two guys over here. How many villagers are still out here? Let's- Is there anybody that went even further? Let's- I don't see anybody. Why did these guys do this? Are they just trying to start their own colony out here? Why did they do that? Oh man, this town is starting to look pretty nice. Uh, especially in the rain, this is beautiful. I am absolutely loving this. This is amazing. And I know I did show you on the last episode the library, but we actually have everybody back into place here. So we can run down. Everybody's not here yet, but we got Bam Bam. There's a couple people still running around, but we can shove them right in with the water. I need to get a couple more villagers. We have about half of the people. We have 12 people in their spots, but only... Uh, oh, 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 there's about 12 of them. Actually, there's 13 spots that are open, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a work in progress. Grab some pumpkin seeds right here. Let's grab some melon seeds. Oh man, we might actually have to break down some melons to get more seeds. And I'm pretty sure I need just a bunch of observers and a bunch of pistons. We have observers. 22 will do for now. 19 pistons. I think this will make a mini farm, but we're probably going to end up needing more, but this will do for the start. I'm trying to find a nice little spot to get this taken care of, and I'm thinking either right behind the frog sanctuary, right in this little field next to the terraced farms, or back here behind the dog sanctuary. I'm not entirely sure. We might have to take some of these jungle trees out and find out, but um, maybe just chilling down here might do the trick. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this area. Let's go over by the frog sanctuary right about here. We, I mean, we took out all of these trees, all of this hill for a good reason. I think it's to put a big pumpkin and melon farm here, and we'll build it up a couple stories, but I think right here is going to be a good spot. So first things first, let's just get like a, at least part of the farm going. We'll start here and we'll get a little bit of water flow going. So the water's chilling and flowing. We're going to use the hoe to go here. I think we need to put the pistons facing this way. Yep. And then we'll get the observers facing the other direction. There are so many cows out here, by the way. Like what? Why? I have zero explanation for this. There is, uh, I mean, there's a lot of cows in here and I don't think they can escape unless they, there's like entity cramming and they get shoved right out. But I just, I kind of just realized there's a lot, there's a lot more than normal. We'll start with pumpkins though, and we'll just put them right here in front of the observers. That way when these little seeds grow, they'll, uh, they'll pop into the next space and then the piston will shove them right out. They should be able to continue growing infinitely too, so I guess we'll just have to make this larger. I might want the water to actually flow into somewhere in the middle, kind of like the sugarcane farm all the way down there. If you haven't watched that episode, uh, we actually, so basically, as you can see here, there's water that's flowing into the middle, into a bunch of hoppers. Under all of this, there is a, a hopper minecart system, as you can hear right there. It's rolling through, grabbing anything that lands on the grass. Oh, and there I am wasting rockets. But yeah, let's go ahead and make this kind of an X, and then we will also go ahead and uh, probably turn this thing up a couple levels. Like, we'll go up about maybe three or four stories tall with this as well, because we want to get, like, maybe two stories of pumpkins and two stories of melons, because I want to get enough to trade with. Like, these are these are very good tradables. So I was thinking we need to kind of set up a perimeter for this build, and I keep hearing frog jumps. I, oh, there is, oh my god. There's a frog right here. Let's get a lead. Where you at, my dude? You're still here? All right, so, dude, come on back here. Why are you doing, oh, dude. There's another frog also. How do they keep getting out? Come through the door over here. And there you go. Now you're home, bud. Good job. 
And you, sir, I think you know better. You should have been in there. Ninty, you have a name. I don't even know how you got out. This guy over here is very much out of place, but uh, we were trying to do a uh, four-way here, and we got that going. So there's a lot of melons and a lot of pumpkins going the other ways, and they actually all go right into the center here, collecting quite a few of them. You can head out. We're going to make our second layers here out of grass. I mean, you can use dirt as well if you don't have the silk touch yet, but we have that, so we're going to use the water going all the way down. Ooh, looks like we already have some growing up here. We can start this redstone this right there. Nothing is working, but I think it's because we need to do that. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, pumpkins. So I've been out gathering some glowstone, and I actually noticed right here. Look at this guy. We have a cleric from all the way back when in, like, episode 2, before we built episode 3's giant nether portal. But we have this right here. I'm actually going to break this so he can't even get over here anymore. And I'm going to give him a path that he uh, can't deny. I'm going to break down here, and then he can pretty much just jump in like this. I think that might be the way to go. Let's go ahead and break this down. Sir, go ahead and jump up. There you go, bud. Oh, he's taking the bait. He took the bait. Yes. No, 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 dude. No, get back in there. I'm not, I'm going to fight you. No. Okay. This is the most difficult cleric I've ever dealt with. I don't, it's not even worth taking this guy back anymore, almost. What are these villagers doing over here? What, what are you doing, dude? And you're, okay, you need to get a different job. And dude, Johnny Stickman. Jonathan Stickboy, what, what's going, no, no, no. I'm breaking this boat before both of them get in. Get out. Go back to the land, please. Come on. What are you doing? It's time to be on the land. Oh, there, I'll even... Oh, there you go. Get up here. Have a good time. Have a grand old time. Come on, bud. You got this. Villagers are causing lots of issues, but we wanted to come back because I wanted to finish up the glowstone on the tippy top of the roof, and as you can tell, we may have gone a little bit overboard with the uh, the styling of this. We went up four different levels. There's a lot of different levels here, and uh, we decided to go up four of them. And actually, oh my god, actually right here is not uh, being collected anymore. We are getting extra full. It's just being thrown down from four different levels right now. Then I had an idea where we would actually... Okay, this is looking, you know, this is like not looking too bad. But I had an idea where, since this is getting all trapped up in the middle, we're going to go down here. There is uh, a little bit of a land jump right here about four or five blocks up so we could actually build a tunnel if we want i think i'm gonna go straight right this way and just go straight as far as i can and after a little bit of digging i don't have any torches so we're using the glowstone that we collected but then after a little bit of digging you're just gonna go over here probably go up and oh there we go there's the hoppers and we have officially made it this is gonna be our collection room i might go down one but we definitely need to widen this up a little bit and the hallway Definitely needs a lot more space. We're gonna, I don't know, I, I made this go a little bit straight at first and then we went very diagonal. We had, so it was a long way in here. What I'm gonna do at first, to just probably just add this little double chest here that everything can start filtering into and then um, we'll just get another double chest right here that everything can go into right here afterwards and then that just gives it a little bit of space. You know what, we can even give it a third double chest if we absolutely want to. We'll put one right here, go bing, bang, boom. That gives it a little bit of extra space and uh, we'll probably make this look a little bit nice, but I'm not gonna focus on that now, we got other things to do. I'm liking the way this little glass strip is looking, but as you can see over there, it is time to get the oak wood over here. We're gonna be working with a lot of oak wood, a little bit of spruce and a lot of deep slate as you can see, but uh, yeah, normally we're doing mangrove, not today. We're trying to stay away from the mangrove. I've been using a lot of it, and especially since the frog sanctuary right here is mangrove, right there, and uh, a lot of the tippy tops that you see over here are mangrove. I'm just trying to get like, more buildings that have oak roofs, and I, I don't know, they'll just give it they're just more variation with the color of the roofs. Let's glide down. I want to strip as many of these as I can. Nice, we got them all. Perfect. As you can see, we started planting some jungle trees back here as well. I wanted to replant the jungle. I just wanted to flatten everything out and get all the ferns, but now that we... Uh, Got all that taken out, we can plant some trees again, get kind of this uh, bone mealed area going, and uh, it, I don't know, it was starting to look like a super flat area, we didn't really want that, but the, the bone meal is making this look pretty nice. And I don't know for sure yet, but I did want to add maybe some of these oak logs right here, like so. Get some of these oak stairs like this to make the edge look a little bit more thick. Okay, actually now I'm starting to think that not the logs, but just tripling up on the stairs over here is starting to look a lot more fancy. Now you already know what we're probably going to do, and it's something along these lines right here. I do want to use the spruce, and I want to use the chains as well, but I don't know if I want the lanterns to be that low to the stairs. I don't know if that looks good exactly. I mean, we can try just stripping this wood real quick. I mean, yeah, that could... We'll have to work with this a little bit to get more design. I do know that for sure that I, I'm going to take this out again 
And do we have the glowstone with us? We do not. We have so much stuff. We have so much stuff in the inventory. I'm gonna go right here. I'm probably gonna end up taking some of that out. Yeah, we'll probably do that on every side here as well. Bing, bang, boom, and bop. When you take a step back, let's look. Ooh, I wish I could take care of those pumpkins up there too, but it's kind of hard to get a hopper minecart system on every level. Yeah, actually, this is this is weird. We're moving this up. This is all getting taken out. We're moving this all up by just one block. This hole over here that we talked about last episode is kind of getting in the way now, so I'm trying to fill it in just a little bit, but I don't know. I kind of want to make like a cool spiral staircase going down. We might like make a long play out of that. That would be fun, but for now, I do want enough room to make a pathway going along here because we're going to have to build some more builds. Like this is going, like the society has to get larger. The builds are going to be moving back here as the uh, the series goes on, and... I don't know, I mean, like, this this hole, it's gonna be nice when the spiral staircase goes down, but I still need some room to breathe for this current build. And there we go. See, yeah, now I can start working on a little bit of a path. I got a little bit more breathing room. It's gonna be nice and easy. We can connect it right up here. Perfect. Kind of bring it back over here. I do want to make a path that goes all the way this way. Probably gonna connect right up in here. Over here, I think uh, we're gonna put glowstone, just one of the glowstone on each of these, and then we're gonna round it off with each of these and then i think we're gonna use a bunch of trap doors as well uh because that brings a lot of contrast to the color also how could i forget right here we got to put the ferns in the fern thinking right here we're actually just gonna go ahead and replace these we're gonna put the campfires in if i can put that in ouch and ouch that way it kind of looks like this and we can add a couple of the trap doors right here to the bottom next it's the classic you guys know what it is i'll probably just fly down here to make it a little easier we'll go bam boom if I wasn't falling so much, I could really get a lot of this built a lot quicker. Ooh. All right, so we'll go bam, bam. We're going to go in. We'll go chain, lantern, and a lantern. And then I think we're going to decorate right here with some potted plants. We'll take a step back, pep right up here, and not too bad, not too bad. Let's do that on every side. So I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do slabs. Uh, for the first one, obviously, it's going to be stairs, but I think slabbage all the way to the top is the way to go. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of variation here and there. I hope I can put that. Nope, I cannot. At the tippy top here. Nope, that's not going to work. We'll probably end up turning it around just like so and go right there we go. Now what we really got to do is start covering the roof up with the oak. I had to fly up real quick though because I was on the ground getting some materials and I did notice that uh, oh, as soon as I turned the camera off and of course I think they might have despawned but... I mean, that just goes to show there was a couple of items. There's some melons chilling right here and some pumpkins over here that I had seen earlier. And I wasn't thinking much of it until right now. I am going to officially just go ahead and get these over here. I'm going to get every hopper in these open spots so that basically everything that's starting to get shoved out of these little water cannons, like basically no, no materials left behind. And of course it's raining. It's always raining. And you know what? I'm actually realizing now. I need to go down. I was building up with the glowstone. I ran out earlier and had to go to the nether, but now that we have enough glowstone, I can build up these little towers here, and I might put some extra towers right here um, on these inner two blocks, like these two right here, those two right there. Boom, 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 boom. If I have enough glowstone, I will. Um, I don't need to trouble myself too much for it, but that might prevent a couple more of those pumpkins. And see that? Actually, those pumpkins right there, a little bit in the peripherals, those might have landed right on the grass. And this little diamond pattern of hoppers right here is crazy too. I'm loving this right here. Now that we built up, actually, the, to get more of a dome, I think what we'll have to do is build up maybe just about two or three like that, and then start to go over like this. And we'll take these out, but uh, this will actually build more of a dome. We'll go up by two right there, and then probably start going up by one up until we reach the middle with these logs. On the roof, we're going to do spruce trap doors and spruce buttons alternating here. As you can see, we also kind of switched the slabs up with some campfires as well. I thought this would just add some much needed color. And the roof, well, we are just going to spike this one up right here. Kind of just like the uh, the frog sanctuary, if I can... Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to do that pretty smooth, but I wasn't able to. Looking pretty good here. I was fixing the glass up on all of the sides here, and I did notice that, look at one pumpkin. That, uh, that needs to be fixed. On stream, it was pointed out right here, and I'm glad it was, because here we go. Bam, look at that. Almost missed it forever. I really, ah, man, this always reminds me that we could have some copper mine carts, but we just don't. That would just make this build way too complex. We're going to run out, though. That was kind of a close one. And let's see if we can close this. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay. This is when we jump up and we start getting that quartz flag going. We're going to jump over here. We're going to go bam, boom, and then we go bam. 
Honestly, more flowers up here. I don't I don't think that'll ever hurt anybody. Let's go. The more the merrier. Getting a view from the top side here. It's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. I'm gonna have to break this scaffolding down, break my ankles all the way down while I do it. And here we are. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm really liking the detail on the outside here. A lot of this was done on stream, and thank you guys for watching. If you did follow on stream, appreciate y'all. I am enjoying how this path right here kind of leads up into this hole. It's kind of making me, like, I don't know, it makes me more motivated to uh, make that spiral staircase. I don't know. But if we go back here, we kind of bone mealed up a lot of stuff as well. Makes it look, the, the foliage looks a lot more natural. And we've got our classic cornflower and oxidaisy mixture right outside the farm. I just got to plant some azalea bushes and some extra types of flowers. We got our base, our main types of big flowers, and that's, uh, almost forgot my bed here right on the path. And also, while we're down here, there's one thing that I wanted to show. It's the other pathway to get down to the storage. I thought that this was pretty cool. So we have nice little double doors here that comes right up. I actually, you know what, might put a barrel right here just to see. Yeah, that, that looks kind of nice. We'll, double, we'll open the double doors. Walk right through the hallway is pretty bare. We figured, you know what, we're not going to come in here very often, so I just put a bunch of spruce in, and it goes all the way down. Look at this. We go, bam. Double chest filling up. Look at all these melon slices going in. We got melon slices, melon slices. Pumpkins should be coming down pretty soon. I, for some reason, it looks like only melon slices are making their way down, but uh, it is what it is. It is still filling up at the moment. This is just its so many. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. That is going to be it for this episode. Episode 13 is coming to a conclusion. And uh, dude, thank you guys for watching. Episode 14 is going to be coming right around the corner in a few days. Sorry for the delay on this episode. It uh, this, ep this build actually took me a long time. All these details down here on the side right here took me a while to do. And I did it on a couple different streams. It's just because I was a little indecisive on how I wanted to do it first, and what's up, Iron Golem, how you doing, man? But yeah, guys, thanks for coming around, I really appreciate it. Again, guys, thanks for joining the Patreon if you do. J join the Discord if you want to, all the links for all these are gonna be down below. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, I really do appreciate all the supporters, everybody that's a part of the Patreon, thank you so much. Everybody that joins in on the live Twitch streams every single day, thank you guys. I really do love this community that we've been building, and the 3,000 days video is right around the corner, so stay tuned, also episode 14, coming right up. So yeah, just take care of yourselves, do something nice for somebody, and see you later guys. Bye.